Wow, look at all these weebs that have contributed so much to the monthly Ayaya challenge. 26,000 coins, 24,000 coins. Wow. That's like 13 streams, 12 streams. Who's the highest? Like, god damn. I refuse to contribute contribute and I'm a weeb what does that make you wow gotta say for absolution is, <laughs> is someone actually gonna get absolution oh man did I take the million off the daily that we had last time anyone remember No. No. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'll take I'll take a million off again, but if anyone can go back and prove that I already did, I'm putting 5 million back on. So, do you do you still want to do it? Did you even do a daily yesterday? No, last time I did a daily was 2 weeks ago. So, do you guys really want to push me here? Because I genuinely can't remember. And someone someone will go back and find out. So, what do you want to do? Did I take this million off? Do it? Alright. I'm doing it. Mark is complete. Alright. I'm not going to check, but someone might go back and check. You're at 820 million now, weebs. Congrats. Alright, I'm extending the monthly. Something went wrong. Please try again. Alright, can I extend it by like 25 days? Okay, so it can never go over 30 days. Alright, it's extended. So I can extend that forever. So should I just make the, the actual Naval Ayaya just, just a challenge that I can just keep going forever? Is that more fun? I don't know. Hmm. Then you guys could just contribute to, to coins forever. Could we buy you Genshin Wishes with Mana Coins? What's the, uh, what's the exchange rate for Mana Coins to Primo Gems? To Shroot Bucks. Anyway, sorry that we're a bit late, uh, even with the hour. Uh, I got held up at the pet store. Alright, here we go. One, one million. Okay. You have to take it off for a sauce fine. Okay. So thank you again, Merrick, for uh, Fido Chan. Not just you know specifically for this picture, just in general. Thank you for Fido Chan. Haven't had a girl this good since uh, since two B. Is that a pickle Megiddo pencil or pen? I didn't notice that. Pickle Nagito pen, nice. Nice. Chan of the year. Do we have do we have five good chants? Four chan of the year? I don't know. What chance do we have? Quantum Moon Chan, Fido Chan. What other chans have we had this year? Loot Chan? No. Put in Chadworth. 
just for fun. I think it has to be one Chan per game, right? We made an exception with Edge and Undo because it was just like I I like the idea of uh, of Undo um, and Edge fighting in in the the video. So I guess maybe we could do that again. Kim Chan, Kim Chan was last year. I love Kim so much. Was it last year? We played Disco last year, right? Oh, did I t did I guys tell did I did I guys did I tell you guys that Ace Attorney is in copyright hell? I did, right? Because I told you guys that uh, it wasn't it it's not as bad. It wasn't immediately rejected. Yeah, I did. I remember saying that yesterday. Okay, so Ace Attorney is gonna be a little while to put up because um. If, if I put them all up in a row and they all go to copyright strike, I'll lose the channel. And I might lose the main channel if that happens. I don't know. How, I don't think so. Like, I, I, but I might. I don't know how it works. So, yeah. One of my videos got age restricted today. Even though it's clearly marked not for kids. So, yeah. I don't know what the hell's going on with YouTube. I, I want off YouTube's wild ride. All right, apparently, according to my fan art folders, this is day seven of Yakuza Zero. Which is day eight, really, because it started at zero. Um, where are we going? I think there are three more fan arts to show. And one calls for Why is it so fast? What? It's so like it's going it's going crazy. Why is it so fast? She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. Look at this. line them up properly with with room on the screen I don't think I can do it I'm not that pro there you go that's pretty good right It's, it's not that fast on Discord, so I don't know why it's so fast on OBS. Like, it's so fast.
Damn, this is still a banger at, at 0.75 speed. Holy shit. It's still good! It's a little distorted, but it's still good. We having fun, chat? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Is that affecting your volume? Oh, it is today. That's so weird. Sometimes it doesn't. That's not though. Okay, I understand. Love, love the drug, drug stream. Okay. In, in all seriousness, like there have been a few times in my life when uh, I'm like delirious from lack of sleep, and you know, you know how like. Like that that's normal speed. These two are going normal speed, right? And then you put this next to them and you see this going like that. And I feel like the whole world is moving at that speed. Has anyone ever experienced that? Like their whole perception of the world is like amped up like that. It's so scary. It freaks me out. Like it's I don't know if that's like something like a drug trip or whatever. Like 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 when you feel like your mind is going at that speed and you feel like everything is going at that speed like just the room is vibrating like the whole world is moving at that speed and it's it's so scary yeah it's it's really really bad i call it uh quickening that's that's what i dubbed it in my head it's like the whole world is quickening i really don't like it He's, another thing I used to have all the time as a kid, I don't get this anymore, is uh, I think it's called Alice in Wonderland Syndrome, which is when you're you're lying in your bed and the um, the room suddenly feels like it's a different size. Sometimes it can be too big, sometimes it can be too small. You feel like you feel like you're a giant in your bed, like your feet are just so far away from your head. Like it's such a surreal feeling. Like you feel like if you move your arms, you're like a huge giant, like in your bed. But other times it can go the opposite, and you feel like you feel like the whole the whole room is too big, and you're really really tiny. You're so small. Like and, and the bed is so huge, and you're like in an ocean of blankets. You know, like it can go either way. You know, like I used to have that all the time when I was a kid, and and it was like uh, I don't think I've ever experienced that as an adult, and uh, it's it's really weird. Do, 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 do. Yeah, sleep paralysis, yeah, yeah. Not for a while, but yeah, sleep paralysis, yeah, for sure. Sleep paralysis is terrifying. Thanks for, th thanks for this, Dulsan. Don't, sorry, thanks. This is for Dulsan. Don't read it. <laughs> Don't read it. <laughs> <laughs> I will. We've got a letter here from Judgment Kazi. Let's open it up and. <laughs> just, just all the scribbles. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being rude as hell here. Um, apologies. Uh, this... This is by Silverhertz. I'm sorry. More like too many hertz from, uh, 
for, for how it would have gone OBS, but no, it's OBS's fault, not not Discord's. I don't know what the hell's going on. Or not Silverhertz, sorry. I don't know what the hell's going on on, on, on the OBS for this. So this is Silverhertz. Thank you so much, Silverhertz. And this is from Jack Chan, or did Jack Chan post it? It's from Jack Chan. It's from Jack Chan. Thank you very much, Jack Chan. She looks cute. Don't read it. Don't read it. Adorable. Thank you. And this one, which is in a way one of one of the weirdest fan arts we have ever gotten. I don't know why, but this strikes me as so weird. This is from D5R. And <laughs> I don't know why. This fucking Fido Chance me too. I'm sorry. I only did main quests today. They they were all side quests, Joe. Fucking fucking Garfield Fido Chan. Like what the fuck? Is that because of the cat girl? Like what, what the fuck? John and Fido fucking Garfield. Like what the. Fuck? Oh, thank you, D5R. Oh yeah, Mer Merrick said at the end of the stream, Art Museum, this is what happens when you wish for cat girl Fido Joe. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> Please no one draw sexy cat girl Fido chain. Yeah, that would be awful. That would be awful. It's based on a deflated Garfield meme, but yeah, also cat girl F Fido Chan. There are a lot of Garfield memes. A lot of uh, like deep fried Garfield memes too, aren't there? Isn't there a whole thing where it shows like progressively more monstrous Garfield? My favorite Garfield meme is the um, the one which is Garfield without Garfield, and it's 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 just John, and it's so surreal. Like I'm sure most of you know about that. Just like I'm sorry, John. There we go. It's sorry. I'm sorry, John. But like Garfield without Garfield, and it's just like <laughs> they, they a lot of them work. It's it's weird. It makes John out to be this strangely depressive, lonely man. Like yeah. Do do. Like the Ronnie comics edited to only be Ronnie. I haven't seen those. Oh man, I'll look those up afterwards. I like Ronnie comics a lot. So I have my contacts in today, so I can actually see the screen, the second screen better than usual. That probably means I can't see the main screen as well as usual. So, you know, it's a trade-off. But I can read subs and bits uh, while leaning back in my squeaky chair. So I'm happy about that. Thank you, Axion SS, for the bit message that came in at the end of last stream. And I, I added them at the end of last stream and said, sorry, it just came in as I was ending it. I'll read it today. So, hey, Joe, I don't normally do this kind of thing. So this is my first year to any streamer. Wow. Uh, I've just been uh, enjoying the Yakuza, Yakuza stream so much. I felt the need to contribute a little something to show my appreciation. Glad to see you having fun with the game. And thanks for so many laughs. Take care and stay well. Thank you so much, Axion. This is a really sweet message. And I'm sorry that I that I missed it when it came in last, uh, last night. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream so much. Mr. Smarticus has resubscribed for 14 months with my favorite Weeaboo streamer. Thank you, Mr. Smarticus. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it. Big Ol' Ryan has gifted a sub to Wandering Two, four months. Thank you, Big Ol' Ryan. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, Big Ol' Ryan. Uh, K Roniverse has resubscribed for 21 months. These streams have been a blast. Oh no, what's the music gonna be? Oh no, uh, it's auto playing nothing. Okay, let's just put it back on again. All right, there we go. Uh, Cameron says these streams have been a blast and have gotten me to 
to start playing Yakuza 0 myself, so thanks for these. Looking forward to finishing the rest of the series for the next five years or so. JPH Pickle. I looked up the remakes of 1 and 2, and they actually look really good, so... Um, I thought that 1 and 2, when we played them, were gonna be like, I'd have to slog through them, but no, they look really good, really, really well remade, so... Uh, by the time we, we, we loop through all the rest of the games you have to play, plus uh, Persona 3, 4, and 5, and Royale, and Strikers, or whatever, and Persona Smash Brothers, by the time we get to them, like, I, I, like 3 will be remade too, right? So, that'll be fun. Do, do, do. I hear that Zero is one of the best ones though, so we've started off in a good place, but I think I'll still enjoy the other ones. Like, we'll see. Uh, Zoro Shoes on Business Day, gotta be a VOD boy today, so excited to see Pocket Racing when I finally watch it. Oh. <laughs> no, main quest only today. Just like yesterday. Main quest only today. So only do a little pocket racing because main quest only today. JCell has resubscribed for 25 months. Thank you very much, JCell. Red Brand has resubscribed for 3 months. They call me Farting Ballsack. Alright, thank you for sharing with the class, Red Rat. I, I mean, Farting Ballsack. Uh, Iron Wrath has gifted a sub to I Heart Nishiki Yam. <laughs> thank you, Iron Wrath, and welcome, I Heart Nishiki Yama, or uh, as, aka Judgment Kazi. Uh, probably Sean uh, has probably resubscribed for six months with Squid 1, Squid 2, JPH Briggle, and Squid 4. That's all squids. Thank you very much, probably Sean. Raphael, she's gonna miss to say, I just finished watching a scene from one of the Ghost in the Shell animes where one of the characters said, you don't need to be a Yakuza to, to, to go visit a Yakuza, and then your stream starts. The timing, goddamn. By the way, if you haven't seen Ghost in the Shell, I'm not, 1995, I highly recommend. It's one of my favorite anime movies. Hell, uh, I talk too much. Uh, I have never seen Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. It's, it's, about, it's about hacking, right? It's about hacking, like the shell is the computer and the ghost is the virus. Yeah, that, that's what it's all about, right? Is that the one with, um... With, uh, Natalie Portman in it? No, it's not Natalie Portman. Oh, fuck. Who's Black Widow? Shit. Why am I so bad with names sometimes? Scarlett Johansson. There we go. I got there. I got there. We got there. Wuggy Wug 188. You're still 188, Wuggy? Uh, for 29 month three sub. Thank you very much, Wuggy Wuggy. Wuggy Wuggy. Teach me how to Wuggy. Still 188. Zariel has, re has resubscribed for 14 months with uh, can't think of a joke, so here's a fun fact instead. The Japanese language doesn't have the letter L. They use R instead. My favorite instance of this is when Japanese politicians tried to write election on their campaign posters but confused the letters. Does it really not have a letter L? Like, I, I don't really know enough about the Japanese language to know the equivalence of the letters. I always thought it was really strange how many different languages basically use the same alphabet. But, yeah. There's probably interesting origins for that when you go through. L and R are basically the same sound in Japanese? Okay. I'm making a 6.1 out of 10 effort meme, but it's gonna take a bit longer. Okay. Will we be able to notice the point one? If the LR is the same in Japan, how do they use PlayStation controllers, huh? <laughs> Uh, Derpius has uh, subscribed for the first time. Welcome, Derpius. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Ranikel has subscribed for 19 months with the weaves are like this, are like, this game is a realistic reproduction of Japan in the 80s, but their only point of reference is this game. Get called, oot nerds. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think, I think maybe Ranikel's right. Uh-oh. Uh, Arido, uh, GPE. Arido Gi? I'm not sure. Has resubscribed for 16 months. You think I would know by now? Hey Joe, monthly petition for you to for you to play Sheen Megumi Tensei 3 Nocturne HD when it releases. Um, do you want that before 13 Sentinels or or what? What about um Al Seminium Files or 999? Do you know how many games we have to play, chat? Do you know how many games? Do you know how many games that we have to play that aren't Genshin Impact? Like, you have no idea how many games there are on this, because we've been playing games forever. And they keep making new ones. I think there are enough games. 
I think we can stop with the games. God damn, there's so many games. Raphael is using this to say this is the best uh, accidental opening. <laughs> uh, M08X uh, X Xert has resubscribed for five months with I'll make an offer in cash. Exactly. Exactly. That's what you should say when you're opening waifu crystals in, uh, in Genshin. Uh, the Quickening coming to theaters on January 3rd, 2020, along with a short feature film called The Witcher 3 Critique. Yeah, very short. Very short. I said Space Man has just discovered 17 months with What Does This Sub Button Do? Does this? I get to read your message. Thank you, I said Space Man. Rygan used 25 bits. Thank you, Rygan. Cheer 25. Raphael says, well, this, well, is, well is seen in this fan art. Kiru has uh, dementia. Poor Kiru. Kiru's best boy. He's so adorable. Tell 69 he's gonna to say, have you ever had one of those moments where you look at the clock and see, for example, 1 a.m. and then you drift off to sleep and have a whole lot of stream and then get the best night's sleep of your life and imagine what the rest, entire rest of your life is going to be like and then wake up assuming you've overslept and the clock says 1.04 a.m. Let's trip you so Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Yeah. All the time that happens to me. Something, something new happened to me um, last week. Which do is sleep. So in case you don't know, I've said this a lot of times, but there's always someone new on the stream. Um, I have narcolepsy, so I, I have uh, like one of the most serious sleep disorders that there is. Uh, it's not the most sleep, the, uh, serious sleep disorder. Uh, I think the most sl serious sleep disorder is when you cannot go to sleep anymore and you just die. So that's terrifying. Um, have fun worrying if you don't, if you have that. Like you progressively have a harder and harder time falling asleep until you just cannot fall asleep anymore. And then you just die because you can't fall asleep. Um, so like that's fun. Uh, apparently, even if they they knock you out, you still don't get restorative sleep because getting knocked out is not the same as actually going to sleep, natural sleep. So uh, yeah, that's that's terrifying to know about. Um, I think they had that in the House, didn't they? Wasn't there an episode of House where where she had some disease that was stopping her from sleeping? Um, it wasn't that one though. It was just something similar to it. Uh, anyway, so the new thing that happened to me last week was that uh, I, I woke up with amnesia for like a solid five minutes. Um, I had I was awake, fully conscious, and I had no idea who I was. I had no idea where I was, and um, yeah, I just I just kind of sat in, and stood up in the room and looked around and was just completely just freaked the fuck out. Like, who am I? Where am I? Um, but it was weird, so I got to experience what it's like to have, um, have amnesia for a bit. Because I always wondered, if you have amnesia, how do you remember not remembering? And you just do. You, you just remember not remembering, and, and you just have all those memories, and your brain just kind of smashes them together. So, it was, um, it was crazy, yeah. So, I sleepwalk quite a bit, so I think that what happened was is that, um, like the way that your brain processes long-term and short-term memories and how it accesses them. Uh, usually you, you don't, you, when, you, when you get up and you sleepwalk in the middle of the night, you don't remember anything that you did because your brain is not making short-term memories anymore. And I don't think it can, it can access them either, but it can still access your long-term memories, I, I guess. Uh, Lily tells me that whenever I get up and sleepwalk and talk to her in my sleep that I'm still me. It's just um, it's just I don't remember in the, in, in the morning. So I guess what happened was that for, for once those switches kind of ticked off in, in a way that uh, I didn't have access to my long-term memories for a bit. So, yeah. It was pretty scary, but now looking back, it was kind of cool. Did it all come back at once, or was it gradual? It all came back at once. Like, it might have been gradual over, like, a couple seconds. It was like, like, oh, I remember that, and then, oh, I remember that, and then, okay, it's all back, you know? I used to be any sort of to say, did you know that the first Ace Attorney was made with, with, in only 10 months, with intended 6 months initially, and a team of 7 people? What is Ace Attorney anyway? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, uh, that makes sense though. Like, um, like, uh, I'm guessing the art assets were the most time consuming thing of making the, the first Ace Attorney. Uh, it going, it, it, it meaning, it meaning to take 6 months and then going to 10 months is just, you know, remarkably on brand for video games, yeah. 7 people though in 10 months, that's still really impressive, like, holy crap. Wonder how many of them were artists. Just John, says Raphael. Garfield Doug Garfield is a milestone in, on humor history, says I Slayed Spaceman. IU Ya has subscribed for the first time. Thank you very much. IU Ya. Hopefully one of those is correct. Thank you very much. Uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2022 stream says I Slayed Spaceman. Yeah, that's about right. Red Zeth says if you want to keep playing a certain character, you should know that it swaps every two chapters. Okay, and we can swap on our own soon if we get a phone call or whatever, right? The phone? So, I'm guessing that we can probably swap, um, at will 
uh, after the next switch, or maybe two switches from now. Bully Hunter 79 has resubscribed for 22 months with day 661. Still no Dishonored 2 in sight. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know when we're playing Dishonored 2 for real. Sorry. I have no idea. I'd like to though. I like those kind of games. And Hitman. We should play Hitman too. Or Hitman 1 even. Uh, KFC Official has <laughs> Let's use the 100 bits. Hi, Joe. Please do darts and pool games today. They are my favorite and have some cool things with them. Pool especially. Also, give remote car racing mini game a chance. Uh, you barely uh, scratched it. Uh, PogChan 100. We'll give all of them a chance. Yeah, I forgot that we haven't done pool or darts yet. Yeah, we should go and try those. Yeah. Uh, Raphael says there was a bad remake with uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, the live action thing, right? Is that the only live action Ghost in the Shell there's been? Isosan says, if you plan on doing an anime watch party, you you really should watch Yu-Gi-Oh! It'd be hilarious. Are we really going to do an anime watch party? <sighs> okay. Alright. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Okay. In December, in December... As, as a Christmas event, we will do an anime watch party, okay? So, I think I believe the watch party are, is you have to have Prime, and then we will watch we will watch something. You guys collectively, collectively decide which is the best anime that is on, on the watch party, okay? Alright? If you, if you guys can collectively decide what is the best anime that we can watch on watch party on Prime, that will be the the christmas event that we will do in december so yeah you know has to be unanimous unanimous then we will do it okay there we go on, on christmas eve or something or something like that there you go Collect, collectively decide good luck weebs what could go wrong anonymous is gifted a sub to cringe lord welcome cringe lord welcome welcome thank you so much anonymous Anonymous. Uh, barrier Trio struck a pose. The R in Japanese is kind of like a combination of L and R. It's why the R's are rolled and sound kind of different. Okay, that's interesting. I know very little about Japanese culture. <sighs> it's going to be Kappas. But for real, I, I yeah, for real. The... They're all salty, XD. He's using our bits to say more main content today. Exactly. Yeah, just like yesterday. Zariel says, uh, yep, they don't have an L, neither sound nor letter. In case you didn't get it, that means they literally write... Uh, oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I, I got that they write erection on their posters. Yeah, I got it because they try to be cool by writing in English. Yeah, I, 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 I got it. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, forget a source. Says, ah, there we go. That's, that's relevant. As we subscribed for two months. Play Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. Play it. Maybe. Maybe. Your guys are coming on a little too strong. Maybe. Link991 has used 50 bits to say, La La Lulu Le Lo is the censored version of the Patriots in the Metal Gear series because those are the syllables that can't be written in Japanese. Is it really? Cool. That's a neat touch. Damn. Fucking Koj Kojima is a genius. Bouncy Bob 20 has used 25 bits to say that quickening shit is so bad when you start daydreaming while it's going on. Brains are weird. Brains are really weird. Yeah. Brains are really, really weird. And we're all in vats, too. It just makes it double weird. Raphael says, Joe's Dis Disco Elysium. Yep, yep. Too much weeb shit the night before. Uh, five Fluorite? Fluorite? 91, he's using her business to say, two antennae fall in love and got married. The ceremony was pretty boring, but the reception was fantastic. Yeah, I know that one. I know that one. Cool. Cool. Uh, Falta says, uh, but how do you know if you actually remember everything? Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Every time you remember something anyway, your brain changes a little bit, right? So over the course of your life, your memories become this whole morph different thing. It's kind of sad. Also kind of cool, but also kind of sad. Vlad MC MX MC has resubscribed for two months with Hey Dadapon. Thanks for the weird and wonderful content and the community that you and Lily have created. Well, you're very welcome. I'm glad that you enjoy it. We're, we're, uh, yeah, we're definitely weird. Definitely weird. I don't know. I don't know how we're as popular as we are, but we are, so we'll just roll with it. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I said, Swiss fan, you said this to say, some time ago, my girlfriend told me that in the middle of the night while I was asleep, I sat on the bed, grabbed her by the shoulders, told her something that made no sense, and went to sleep. Yeah, Lily has to, like, go, like, go through that a couple times. No, no, it's not as much anymore. Um, I think ever since 
Leo was born around then, it's gotten less. I'd have to ask her how often it happens. She doesn't have to... Maybe she just sleeps through it now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, other, the other night, um, I, I woke up grabbing her, like, because... I, I told I, I woke up instantly, so I, I grabbed her all of a sudden, like really violently. I grabbed her from behind, and then I immediately said, "Don't worry, I'm awake. I know what I'm doing." And she was like, "Okay." And I was like, "I was just having a dream that you were falling from the sky, and I had to catch you." And she's like, "Okay." And I'm like, "But now I immediately woke up and realized what I was doing, so I'm going back to sleep now." And she was like, "Okay." So. <laughs> So I don't know. I'd have to ask her if she just if she knows or she just sleeps through it now. I've I have no idea. Yeah, I'm a I'm a nightmare to live with, man. I'm a nightmare. Top all these to say day two of reminding Joe not to play Star Ocean. Also, do the real estate stuff before the main story uh, is done. Yeah, we'll do the real estate stuff. I'm interested in the real estate stuff. I like collecting things. It's fun. Blast three nine two zero has reached score for two months. With I used to wonder what people meant by sleep paralysis. Then I found out found that. Sorry, found out that for most people, dreams aren't aggressive sensory hallucinations that, that you can't escape from. Yeah, it's kind of scary when you when you learn something about yourself and realize it's not normal. Yeah, sorry you have to go through that that blast three nine two zero. Yeah, it's always a uh, it's always disconcerting when you when you find out oh that not everyone goes through that. You know, like yeah yeah. Good luck with that. You have my sympathy and and my solidarity. To, like, don't worry, I'm right there with you. Uh, Anonymous has gifted a sub to Weebs are the worst. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, Weebs are the worst. Thank you, Anonymous. Welcome, Weebs are the worst. And last but not least, and then we're gonna play the game for real. Commander Libra has reached the for three months. Claude von Reigen simper subbed for three months. Let's fucking go with these amazing streams. <laughs> what? Re Regan. Rygen? Okay. Thank you, thank you, Commander Libra. Alright, so, um, let's go. I thought that, uh, we, we ha would have a shorter intro today, because there wasn't as much fan art as usual, and there didn't seem to be uh, as many messages, but, uh, they went on for a while, so let's get into it. Oh, it's Regan. Okay, it's a Fire Emblem name? Alright. All right, let me turn the, the sound back up. And we have to go find someone to fight because we have no money. We have zero money right now. Here we go, we found someone. Whoa, this guy has been, been blocked. You know what, we could probably just go get money from the real estate thing, right? Like, what we just did there was switch over to Brawler, right? I think even playing it really inefficiently, just going into beast mode and just spamming X and Y is still faster. Just slam your way through it. Yeah, pay out ready. Wow, that's a that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. That's a lot of moolah. Okay, so we want to um, match the circles, right? 
Alright, like that, that one's done. That one's also done. How high does this go? I kind of feel like we should focus on building this up today. Like, let's max it out. Immediately lost 200 viewers. Immediately. YouTube, they all left. It's just us now. This is basically just, I'm just live recording a YouTube video at this point. Let YouTube. How's it going, YouTube? Hope you enjoy- Oh, you've left too. Okay, so I'm just sitting in a room streaming for no reason. Okay, cool. Alright. Good thing I don't have pants on. Oh, Mr. President. Hmm? Nani? What's the matter? Why are you so flustered? Someone who works for the Leisure King came by. His name was Takashida, I think. Nani? What happened? Did he try anything with you? No, he had a message for you. Come to the karaoke bar. Yes, we're gonna karaoke off. Karaoke off for the district, the karaoke bar. Yes, what do you think he wants? I have no idea. I think he wants to sing, but we've taken over a lot of his territory recently. He's not gonna take that lying down. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. But it could be a trap. They might resort to violence again. We'll see. If they want to duke it out, there's no reason to pick a, there's no reason to pick a fight at a karaoke bar, so don't worry. But please, still be careful. Logic King's waiting at the karaoke bar. Time to go. In my swimsuit. Will you keep uploading the VODs on YouTube? Yeah, as long as they fucking stop copyright striking them, yeah. I was gonna re-upload the Disco Elysium streams because I've been like opted into the beta now for uh, removing the... Um, removing the, the, the sound, the music that's been copyright claimed while keeping your voice. So that's just really, really good. But that happened to Ace Attorney. Okay, so that happened with uh, the Porcupine Tree song that was at the end of uh, Control. That recently got claimed. And I was able to use that, that beta service to get rid of it. And it worked. And everything was resolved. And it's great. Uh, but then it happened with Ace Attorney. And then it tells me, Ace Attorney, the music, they need to see more of that music in order for the feature to work. So apparently... Oh, for fuck's sake. That, that's har hardly anyone has uploaded that track, so the, the song system that they have doesn't know it, but it's somehow a new fucking Porcupine Tree? That's so weird to me. But yeah, um, I love Porcupine Tree, so like, like that's just like, coming from a fan. So I don't think it'll know the Disco Elysium songs either, so I have no idea. Please don't hit me. Hmm? Uh -huh. What are you talking about? You're not the victim here, you filth. Oh no, raging man. Ah, uh -huh. uh, quit making a scene. People will think we're the bad guys. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Damn, is she just gonna like bust out some moves? Alright, well, cool story, bro. Do 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 do. Where is the um the shrine? Wrong way. Wait, is it here or up here? Oh, it's here. Okay. Whoops. Hey, clown. Okay, where is the one where I can? Oh. Oh. I came here for bottomless stomach so I could so I could get the um, friends with the guy who who runs the store that we can buy once we get friends with him. Do I have enough for this? And and this? I want bottomless stomach. Let's go with the bottomless stomach. And let's get as many of these as we can get. Office Feng Shui, alright. Office Feng Shui again, alright, so we need 30 more. Okay, for a quick collection level 4. Ooh, the Richmond, the Golden Pistol.
Have you heard Personal Shopper by Stephen Wilson, who's lead songwriter of Porcupine Tree? I've listened to some of, some of the solo stuff that he's had. Um, I don't like it as much as Porcupine Tree, but some of it's been pretty good. Um, I have not heard Personal Shopper, no. I don't have a lot of time to listen to music, unfortunately. Will it, will it tell me to when it, this is ready to pick up? It does. Okay, cool. So now I can go down and eat all that guy's food. And then he'll let me buy his restaurant. That's how it works, right? Borgia Wintry is so good. Arriving somewhere but not here is like literally my favorite song. If I'm feeling less less hipster, I'll just say it's like Bohemian Rhapsody or like Holding On To You by 21 Pilots, but like Arriving Somewhere But Not Here is just just outright my favorite song. I love that song. What can I get you? I want I want to eat everything that you have. Everything. Oh. I like everything you have. I'd like to buy your shop. Now bring me the cum chalice. Alright. Oh, oh, okay. Joe, you should you just switch things. I cannot sing, so no. Alright, do I do I just... Does he cook in and out? Does it matter what I get? Hey, I want some tamago. Alright. Thank you for the tamago. Mm -hmm. You're downing yourself again? Well, yes. I wouldn't be coming here if it wasn't good. Why can't you accept the fact that you're good at this? Yeah. But I'm not. I only know the basics. There are many kinds of fish I've never even had the chance to prepare myself. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! No, this is- we're gonna be playing this- The, the anime watch-along is gonna interrupt Yakuza! No! No, if only I had the time and skill, I'd get out there with a lure and lure and get fresh fish to work with. I go fishing every once in a while. Wouldn't say I'm particularly good at it, though. Hold on, you fish? Really? I just do it once in a while for fun. Plus, you get fresh fish you can't find in markets. <gasps> Are you okay? I do realize that this is a big favorite ask, but do you think you could bring me some of the fish you catch? Daddy? That's a strange thing to ask a customer. <laughs> what is with these cheesy zoom-ins? Mm. I know, but I really need this. I'll never become a respectable sushi chef without a lot more experience preparing a certain variety of fish. Not only that, but I've never really worked with fish that's just been caught. So, I, wow, what did I just eat then? So, I could really use your help. Freshly caught fish is completely different than what you can find at the market. I think working with what with that would help me improve my skills faster. I can see where you're coming from. Please, whenever, whenever you can is fine. Please just bring me fish whenever is best for you. In return, once I prepare whatever you bring me, you can eat it for free. <laughs> now we're uh. talking. Alright, now this is pod racing. I'll go see if I can get something for you next time I go fishing. I, no guarantees yeah. though. I understand, that's perfectly fine. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know your name, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm Ginji, by the way. I'm Kiru. No need to thank me just yet. I'm Judgment Kazi. You gonna bring Ginji fish and make you Okay, here's some fish I caught like three days ago. Here you go. Here you go, I have some fish for you. Would you like today? I'd like to give you some fish. All right, here's some. Oh, you brought me some fish. Terrific. What kind of fish is it? What should I hand over? Squid. Uh. How about this one? Perfect. This will really help me. I'll prepare it right away. Mmm. Tastes like weak old fish. How is it, Kirusan? Uh. It's good. <laughs> really. Thank you, I feel like working with fresh caught fish like this really helped me grow. Glad I could help. I really appreciate it. If you go fish again, please bring me your catch. What's that fish that you can prepare that's poison? That you have to prepare it very, very carefully by cutting out all the poison parts for it? Fugu? Yeah, fugu. Is it even tasty? Oh, you brought me some fish. Terrific. What kind of fish is it? Should I hand it over? Uh. How about this one? Perfect. This will help me. I'll prepare it right away. You might not. Fugu, my balls, Lamayo. <laughs> How is it, Kurosan? Dramatic zoom in? Uh. It's good. <gasps> really? <laughs> Thank you. I feel like it helped me grow. Glad I could help. I really appreciate it. All right, let's go fishing again for this.
Well, let's go get the better rod. Part of the appeal is earning toxin gives it a mild to limiting effect. Okay. Do you have the Peerless Rod already? No, that's on, uh, on, uh, Majimi. Pleasure Challenge Green. Oh, no! I wanted my money first! God damn it! This game is like a masterclass of inter interceding content. Like, holy crap. Holy shit. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. What? Uh, what? Okay, I want a ruby plate. Ruby plate. Dun, dun. Delinquents. Plate. Save D from your fate. Give me Ruby Plate. It was a super idea. I won't do this again. I mean, thank you. Please take this. You got slightly better stamina. Stamina and right. That's not a funny way to spell Ruby Plate. Uh, I slide just to say if you want if you want to do anime watch along party JPH for real and it's not huge bait you might just not show anything on stream except your reactions while you synchronize everyone by telling them when to start the video on their own totally legal TM anime source Rev Scarecrow did that with his uh, JoJo watch through can I do that while also having the watch along or I guess not I guess people can't can't see it hmm. I don't know we'll see. Uh, Zargi is recently subscribed for four months. Kojimbo Productions just announced that they are officially working on their next game. I'm so happy. The Princess Beach Brigade will return. Yeah, I wonder what it's gonna be. We'll see a trailer soon and then play it in four years' time. Which is fine. Yes, yeah, gets excited. And Lanky Swine, Laku Swine, sorry, uh, 25 bits. How do you feel about uh, pet pedaling to. Uh... Wait, what did it just say? Yeah, I'm ready for it. Go in. Alright, here goes. <gasps> He's singing Judgment! No! Woohoo, you're amazing, boss. Oh, Kiru's here. <laughs> hey, Kiru-san. Long time no see. Why did you call me out here like this? <laughs> yeah, come on, relax. I figured we could just hang out and have a good time. Maybe play a little game. A game? Ah. Yeah. Just something the five billionaires do to pass the time, now that you're the six billionaire. Keep things fresh. To each, we each bet a, a part of our turf. Whoever wins gets a share of the loser's area. What do you think? Exciting, isn't it? That's crazy. You would take a big hit to your business if you lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it fun. I made my money in p pachinko, buddy. It takes more than a little risk to scare me. So what's this game you're talking about? Is Pachinko complicated? Or, or, or is that like ignorant of me to say? It, it, does each machine have its own rules? Is Pachinko like a genre instead of like an actual thing? Hee <laughs> hee, it's this. Mm. Karaoke. Ah. Yeah, these karaoke machines are, are pretty high tech these days. The bad boy scores your singing on a scale of 1 to 1 to 100. It's just pure luck? Okay, we're gonna battle it out 
with the scoring system. Whoever racks up more points wins. How's that? But <laughs> hey, hey, what? You chicken or something? Man, what a wuss. Or maybe you're just tone deaf, huh? It'd be painful if I lost my part of my holdings. If I won, if I won, I could grow my share. Maybe I'll take uh. them on. Take on me. Fine. I'll accept your challenge. I'm confident in my singing abilities. <laughs> really? We're really going to have a sing-off? Hee <laughs> hee. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I'll kick things off. The song is Judgment. Oh, you just made the biggest mistake of your life. <laughs> hey, I got 80 points. Not too bad, I guess. Wow, you suck. Okay, you're up next. And if you get the same score as me, I'll still let you win. Uh. Got it. I'll show you how this song is supposed to sound. <laughs> hey, I'm looking forward to it. Comp compete to get a higher score in, in laser karaoke. If you score 80 points or higher, you win and increase your share of the Ledger King's area by 10%. Lose and your share decreases by 10%. Sing your heart out and increase your share of the area. Breaking the law. Do, 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 do. I really like this game. Too bad it doesn't have waifu crystals to open. Yes, man. Alright, so I think three goods. Damn. Choked at the end. Choked. So are the different different districts gonna have different things that they do? Like the other one you have to beat them at pool, and the other one you have to beat them at race car racing, and the other one you have to beat them at foxy boxing, it's not all gonna be karaoke. Karaoke King. <laughs> Heh, looks like I did okay. Nani? No way. How can a meathead like this sing with a great voice like that? As promised, I'll take a share of your area. Aw oh, man, look, look, look at the little smirk. Oh, Kiru's so proud. Like, he's like, yeah, I got to win with my singing skills instead of just having to use my fists. I'm so happy. Gonna sleep well tonight. Look, look, he's so, he's so chuffed. Oh man, look at him! Look, he's so happy! Ugh. Damn it. You win the karaoke battle, your share of Legend King area is increased to 10%. Ooh. This isn't good, boss. He's already taken a lot of our turf, and now we have to give him even more. Uh -huh. Shut up! Don't you think I know that? Anyway, I've still got a backup plan. Listen, Kiryu-san. Playtime is over. I'm gonna bring my A-game from now on. What you took from me, I'll get it all back. I'll spare no expense. You've been warned. I'm opening Jurassic Park. Let's see what you've got. Later, man. If we meet again, that day might be your last. If you want to avoid that, it's not too late. Get out while you can. Sounds like Ledger King's getting serious. Things could be coming to a head soon. Who are you? Hello? Oh. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a quest. Okay, now I can go get my money, and I can get the, sh the fishing pole, so I can go fishing, so I can buy the sushi bar by giving the guy fish, so then we're gonna be friends, because then he's gonna be better, and then I can buy his restaurant, 
and then we can increase it, and then we can go by the other one, and then we have it all, and then we're probably, gonna, and that's probably gonna lead into like the head off with the Leisure King, and then we'll open a new area to do, which is probably gonna require even more fishing at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna canonically own the empty lot before <laughs> the. <kid. laughs> So let's, uh, let's... I need to do some side quests to get better advisors. Change staff, why? Wait, for real? They're exhausted. What how do how do I see that? The red the red number? Isn't it always like that? Oh, it's not highlighted in red. The number goes from left to right. Oh, okay. So, so right now they're they're having zero, and it moved. So when I first put her on, she was at zero, and then she went to one, and then next time one, next time one, and now she's at minus two. Okay. Wow, Li Lang, you suck. You start at minus two the whole time. Damn, I am now, I am now Coggers. I got mugged last time I was in Mongolia. I'm good at arguing. Shop. You get an amazing advice you score all strikes well, but really? Really? Alright, fuck it. Alright, that's what we're gonna go do. Alright, fuck it. We're going bowling. We're going bowl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Red, Ruby plate. Binding. Breaking the law. Breaking the world. We we can't get the whole thing, can we? Like like this is gonna be the Leisure King. And then this is gonna be the, like it's we can't get we can get the whole thing can't we? We can get the whole thing can't we? Hold on, I'm going I want to go bowling. 
You have to beat Leisure King first before you can get the bowling advisor. God damn it. Any plans for after Yakuza game wise? I don't think we're ever gonna be done with Yakuza, so no. No. There's porn! We got porn. Alright. Okay, so we, we we can't do the bowl we're here, let's bowl a game. We're here. Alright, feast your eyes on this bowling thing. Challenge the staff. Play solo. Play a split game. I don't know bowling. Let's play solo. Feast your eyes. Hope you got your contacts in, lady. How many? I want to play 10 frames. 10. Okay, enjoy the game. Heavy tank. Huh. God damn it. How? Two, right? Two? Huh. You. Oh shit, uh, like three, I think. Hmm. Yeah! Yo. Strike! Ooh. Alright, I don't think we need to put any spin on this. This is this is just GG. This is just G huh. to the G. Yeah! Two straight strike. Alright. Alright, three I think. Maybe even four. Let's do three. Hmm. What? Rigged! Fucking rigged! Rigged! Alright, just, just, like, no, we don't even need to move it. This is, this is good. We're done. Spare. Alright, I think three. Huh. Yeah. Yo. Dear Dulcen, I I went bowling and I did really great. I want you to know from huh. Judgment Kazi. Do you like bowling too, Dulcen? I think one. One. No, one. Mm. One, one. God damn it! Mm. Alright. Two? Two. 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 Mm. Two. So, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, we did. Okay. You. 
Alright, I think I think nothing. I think this is good enough. Mm. Yeah, we're good. Yosh. One. One. Come on, if we get another strike, you get three strikes in a row. And there's no no way you need like the max friendship for that, so it's okay. This is a strike. I feel it. I feel it. We're done. This is it. This is it. We've done 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 it. What? Uh, two? Two, two, one, two, 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 two. Oh shit, maybe, maybe not. Fucking no! Uh oh. Uh, one, one to the right, one to the right. Shh. All right, good. You get an extra one at ten. All right, we did pretty. We did good, great. Did that? Did that turn you on, lady? Lady, did that turn you on? Mm -hmm. Your bowling form is as good as ever. Please come again. Sure. Okay. All right. Hey, let's keep going. I, I want to challenge the staff. Would you play me? With pleasure. That will be 500. All right, cool. All right, do I have to pay for your shoe rental? And you put that weird, like, sp smelling spray into the shoes? Clown shoes. All right, entertain yourself 100 times. I think we're well above 100 at this point. Hmm. I'll be bowling in my swimsuit. Yikes. Imagine if this was your first stream. I think, I think we're past the point of that mattering. I think that's every stream from now on. Imagine if this was your first stream, for every stream. Huh. That's it, it's a strike. No, why does that keep happening? Mm. Whoa, she's laughing. God damn it. Fucking Fido-chan personified over here and she's laughing. Let's go. Huh. Wow. Oh, 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 okay. All right, let's see how good you do. Oh, right into the gutter. Oh, you suck. Oh, right. Oh, 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 no. Oh, this is going to be easy. Oh, man. We're going to be writing a postcard about you later. Wow, changing balls between? Like, what are you doing? Oh, was she just fucking with us? Maybe she was just fucking. Magic are you gonna do now, Himiko of Bowling? Look what- No, that's not it. You can't go to the left. No, that's not it. Oh my god. Why is she going so slowly? Uh oh. Does she know something we don't? Oh. Don't 
どうした Okay, I think one to the left. Huh. Yeah. Oh, we go again. I don't understand how you. Why do you do two at the end? All right, is this just straight on? No, I think one to the left. Uh oh. All right, we did it again. All right. Yosh. Three strikes in a row. Yosh. We do three in a row. What? Do you get three rolls no matter what? I have gone bowling before, but it's been like. Over a decade. Maybe even、huh. two, actually. <laughs> Shit. Alright, here comes three strikes in a row. Don't you ever want to lose control? Don't you ever get tired? Oh no, she sucks. Alright, it was a fluke. Okay, cool. Bowling is hard. I agree. I, I do think bowling is hard. You suck. Can we be more friends now?、Mm -hmm. Your bowling form was great today. Your bottom looked as lovely as ever when you were throwing the ball. Hee hee hee. See, some people who weren't here for the last stream when she was here thought I was kidding. But no. No, she's a bowling form fetishist. I'll have to stop coming here. What? What? No, please don't say that. We have a special challenge coming up and everything. What challenge? Nani? Just a little something special for our customers to promote better bowling skills and sexy bowling form. Are we bowling in our underwear? It doesn't sound bad except for the last part. What kind of challenge is it? Hee、mm、hee, -hmm. that's a secret. You'll see for yourself when the time comes. <laughs> eh, okay. Hey, oh, I, come on. I want to get an advisor. Hello, how can I help you? Alright, challenge the staff again or play a split game? What should we do, chat? Split game or challenge the staff? I don't want to play her again. Oh no, we're gonna play her again? Solo, solo. Okay, what's, what's the split game? How does it play a split game? In this alley, we have prizes we're clearing out each frame. It costs a pretty penny to play, but it's definitely worth it if you're a confident bowler. Their bonuses are clearing out five frames in a perfect, perfect game. Five million to play. Would you like to go? Of course we would! Of course! Alright, let's go. Yeah, of course. Alright. Enjoy the game. Alright, of course we're gonna do it. Alright. Baby. Oh my god, we made a mistake. Oh shit. Oh no, we've made a really big mistake. I thought it was just getting strikes. What? 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 What the fuck is this shit? Alright, do I have to hit the, 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 the light up ones or do I need to leave them standing? Oh, okay. Do I get two balls? Oh, okay. I thought I had to, like, <laughs> I thought I had to, like, make shapes with, like, a full. S <laughs> Did anyone else think the same thing? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be, like, a full set of pins, and I had to hit. These three and that one, and leave the rest standing. And I was like, oh my god, that's impossible. <laughs> huh. God damn, how? 
How? How did that? What? What? No. Yeah! Clear! Alright, now what? Triangle? How do you do the triangle? Trapezoid. Trapezoid looks like you just go straight down the middle, right? Baby split? That looks easy. Baby split looks easy. I'm wrong. I've never been more wrong. It's not easy at all. Alright, two? T two? Mm. Ooh. Yes! You did it! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, in the dark. In the dark looks easy. Oh, I'm wrong. Uh, two? Two, 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 mm. two, two. Okay. How's it going, Lily Bell? Do you want a bowl? No. Okay. I'm not gonna bowl in real life, and I don't think I'm gonna be good at this. Did we ever go bowling? No. No, we've never gone bowling? I once went drunk bowling, and all these good drunk and all those silver stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, like, like, uh, hard right. Hard right, right? Hard. Uh. Hmm. Shit. One to the right. One to the right should bring it in really easy. It'll knock mm. all, all three down. Like, boom, 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 in a row. I gotta admit, that's that's actually kind of fun. I enjoy that. Did you have a good bowling? Yeah, I I really did actually. That that's actually fun. <laughs> Let's play again. Let's just do a normal game to, to max out our friendship. This is main quest, we have to get the empty lot. Is this even possible? Alright, just like whip it right onto the other side. Huh. Alright, here you go. Just whip it right to the other side. Nope. Hmm. 
banging music never stops in this bowling alley. <laughs> Sarcasm in my chat? Where'd you guys learn that from? Damn, we're so good at bowling. Yosh. did it. Did you have a good time bowling at our alley today? I did. I really did. By the way, we will soon have a challenge for our customers. I'll keep you posted. Alright. <laughs> sure. Got it. Friendship with em Emery. An em event is scheduled to take place at Mac Bowl. Your friendship with Emery will not increase until then. You need to make progress with Kamurosha Real Estate Royal for the event. Ooh. But that's why we're here! But, but, we're he That's why we're here! All right, I'm going fishing. I'm going fishing. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm going fishing. I should probably go get the money from the business, right? Hold on, million yen vending machine. Yeah, hold on. Oh, no, he's using the vending machine. It would be unsporting to attack him now. Back off, lads. Back off. Let's go to the bowling alley. Alright. Oh, he's still using the vending machine now. Miracle Johnson quest gives great advisor vibes. No, it doesn't. I'm not falling for your tricks. If you, if you get a fucking, like, all-out attack with Makoto, you get more money! Any any money at all into beast? Oh, we have. Okay, is there a way to to get it? So yeah, reduces the amount of heat loss when you take damage, right? I, I would like that. That helps. What's this one over here? Boost your attacks to heat mode. Yeah, sure. Why not? Take a low sense charge for pulling yourself in the air. I don't like the hold attacks. Intimidate the enemy, fill the heat cage, uh, more maximum health. Wow, 30 million. Weave away from an enemy during a rush combo. That seems pretty good. I think I would like rush. I'm guessing money scales really hard. Boy. Yeah, like I can get 30 million just just for going outside, right? And just just sitting around for a bit, right? Yeah, money must scale really hard. We're gonna be like regularly getting empty lots. Like every round, oh, another empty lot. Oh, another round, another empty lot. When we see Kuze again, I'm just gonna be able to just throw money on the ground and just win the fight like that. All right, B. 
rank up, rank up, rank up. And if I'm correct, now they yeah, now they're on the ones on the right, okay. And the other ones are, are, are they all healed up now, or? Oh, they only need to rest for one, for one day? That's it? Huh. Alright, let's go back. Alright, you suck though, safety influence, but your problem solving is at four. I don't know what that means. Yeah, let's go back to it. I don't know. You have to pay them again when they reassign. Yeah, but it's nothing. Look, there's no one even around. There's no one here. <laughs> Just a crumb of Miracle Johnson, my lord. Just a cr No, we're going fishing! Well, it's nighttime. Can we go night fishing? Great song. Night fishing. Is that fucking baller fisherman still gonna be there? Hey guys. You need bait to go. No, you don't. You don't need bait to go fishing. You do not need bait to go fishing. No, you don't. You don't need bait to go fishing. Is this baller still? He is. Oh man, he's still here. Man, this guy's my favorite. got no bait right now. Oh, damn. <laughs> you can catch an advice. <laughs> you can get fi fish man, jish man. He, he, he's gonna come. I know, I know a lot about real estate. <laughs> glub, glub. It's really hard to see them at night. I don't like night fishing. Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. We got a fish! Nice. A spider fish. I don't have any space. I guess it's an item box. No, just drink a Mountain Dew! Yeah, let's let's send the Mountain Dew. Okay. Right, I can't see shit out there. Wow, we can cast really far. Alright, let's just cast here and hope there's a fish. Hmm. There is not a fish. Damn, if only had some bait. Something will take the bait, right? If we just wait long enough, a fish will come along. And they'll take it. We're gonna hear the noise any second now, and it's gonna go... 
It's not going well. It's not going well. Uh, X Xbox One is better than the PlayStation Four. That's the best bait I have. No, if no one's taking that, there's no way. Do I even believe that? No, it's bait. What's this huge fish right here? Hmm. All right, Azuka is better than Ray. Way better. Who would like Ray when you can have Azuka? Oh, apparently everyone agrees with this. Uh, Ray is way better than Azuka. <laughs> Look, this is you. Azuka fans. That's you. Alright, send the repair kit in. Are you going for this fish? Like you, you feel like I feel like you're backing up. You're going for it. No, yeah, here we go. All right, that's that's it, right? Do we have enough fish. File fish, super big size, nice. Okay, so I think that's it. I think we have enough fish. Cause he, how many fish does he need? Cause our friendship was going up. Let's get one more just in case. Hmm. Go for the huge fish in the back. Okay, I'll do one cast in the back after this and we'll see. Has Joe never been fishing before? Never been bowling? Never been fishing? Has Joe never played pool before? Has Joe never gone playing darts before? Has has Joe nev never done done what the fuck? What the? F is is Joe never never done box car racing before? What the? F Go for it, you big weeb. Jojo sucks. Jojo sucks, you big weeb. And and the number three is the best one. Jojo sucks. Three is the best. Seven is underrated. Jo Jojo sucks. It, the, fir the first season was the best season. And it was all downhill from there. And even that one wasn't all that great. Come on. Go for it, you fucking weeb. No, he doesn't want it. He doesn't give a fuck about Jojo. Okay, um... What kind of weeb doesn't give a fuck about Jojo? Maybe he's not a weeb. Nintendo fan? Um... No one gave a shit about the year of Luigi. Who gives a shit? They hyped it up and who gives a fuck about Luigi? No one cares. I don't want Why Luigi to be in next Smash. I don't give a shit about Why... Alright, let's go.
All right, what the fuck is this thing? A marlin. Nice. We got a marlin. All right, we're done. I don't know. This one. Oh man, this was the right one. I'm sorry we didn't fish, fish up the advisor. Don't worry, that's not the last time we're going fishing. Hey, I got you a marlin. What is this music? Nice. Uh, here, have a marlin. Uh. How about this one? Perfect. This will really help me. I'll prepare it right away. Mm. I was a Kirsan. Um, Kirsan? Uh. It's especially good today. Sorry, it was so good I was at a loss for words. Uh -huh. <gasps> you had me worried there for a second. I love you. I'm happy to hear that you liked it. You're making real progress, Genji. Your sushi's getting better every time I come. Now I want to buy your restaurant. Hi, I appreciate the encouragement, but it's still nowhere near as good as my old man's sushi. I mean it, Genji. It's time you had some confidence in your own skills. Believe in yourself. Let me buy your restaurant. You think so. You keep comparing your sushi to what your dad made. But your dad's dead, so how good could he have been? I can understand how you wish you were just as good as a master chef with decades of experience under his belt, but that comparison is not fair to you. If you let that comparison hurt your self-confidence, you're just holding yourself back. Uh. Let yourself walk your own path and make sushi the way you want. Kiru is just, just a fount of fucking wisdom. Just best boy, wholesome all the time, having fun, singing karaoke, writing postcards into the radio, hope he gets on there. Just, god damn, my own sushi. My dad passed away and the restaurant dropped into my lap. I didn't feel ready. No, they pass without nagging thoughts that maybe it wasn't right for a greenhorn like me to be serving customers. I feel like what you just said finally dispelled those worries. It's such a weight off my shoulders. Please buy my restaurant. Good. I'll follow your advice and find my own path to create the best sushi I can make. Uh. Sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I can't wait to have you try it, Kiryu-san. Come back soon. <laughs> I will. That, we, just, we just had that heart to heart. And we got like like that little <sighs> This is really good. Hmm? Not neat. This is the best sushi I've ever had. Whoa. Probably a restaurant critic. <laughs> Glad you like it. Probably Genji the chef. I've been to many restaurants. Your sushi is truly exceptional. I've never had anything like it. You've put a refreshingly new twist on classic sushi. Well done. Uh, go have some ratatouille. He's full of praise for Genji's sushi. Genji looks like he's overcome the doubts that were holding him back. So, what's your secret? How do you make sushi that feels traditional and novel at the same time? Well, the secret is I have no idea what I'm doing. Hmm. Well, I'm just following advice from a very insightful person. You mean a sushi master? So, what's this advice? No, it's it's my ex Yakuza. He told me to believe in myself. Right, Kirisan? Hey, don't drag me into this. Hey. Oh, are you by any chance the sushi master you was talking about? Yes, do you want some advice on being a restaurant critic? Because I can give you advice too. Just believe in yourself. Whoa, no one's ever said that to me before. I know, I'm a much better restaurant critic. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Eh? No, you've got the wrong idea. Oi. See, what you got me into, Genji? <laughs> oh well. But a bump, but a bump, bump. All right, now we're best friends. Where's the circle fade to black? Woo! All right, can I buy your restaurant now? Ah, Kirisan. Sorry for bringing this up out of the blue, especially since you keep going out and back in again. But do you work in real estate? Huh? Yeah, I do. 
How did you know? Your suit. I'm friends with the manager, Yurika Yurizake? Zake? Actually, he said business has been much better since you started managing the property for him. I was hoping that maybe you could do the same for me. Would you be interested? Fuck yeah, sure, of course. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. It's getting harder and harder to do business here with all those tycoons buying out places and doing as they please to Kamurocho. You acquired sushi sushi gym. You, we just we just have it? Oh man, store ranking D. Man, you're not doing very well. You got the Seamaster. What's the sea? Oh, we got that's that's the shit rod. Give here, have some more fish, just because. All right, here, have have the spider crab because I don't want it in my bag anymore. Perfect. It's literally free real estate. I really appreciate it. Good fishing, please make a catch. All right. Okay, what else is here? Okay, so Pachinko Marufuku, Popo Tanakachi Street, and Noki Noki Academy. All right, where where the fuck are those? Oh shit! Wish I could read. For real. I wish they showed up on the map. All right, now we're too far. Oh no, it's a side quest. No, I thought it was. Okay, by all the side it's not safe here. A shrink, the shrink wrap dream. All right, do you want like a never been opened action figure? Cause it's shrink wrapped. Okay, cool story, bro. Wait, this kid is probably like a great advisor for something, right? Pachinko Marufuku, just visit a little clientele. What? Oh, buy it. Yeah, here. I make an offer in cash. Oh, he didn't do it. Well, what's the point of this quest then? Okay, fine, we'll do it instead of Miracle Johnson. But this is the only side quest you're getting today, chat. It's main quest only for the rest. Oi. Back to main quest after this. Hey, this is no place for a kid all alone. It's not safe. Go home to your mom. I don't want to. I don't like my mom when she's mad. What, your mom got angry with you? Yep. What did you do, you shitty kid? I wanted to buy something from the super cool vending machine, but she flipped out. A super cool vending machine? Like this one over here? Exactly this one. It's nothing like that. It's a lot bigger, and it's lit up with these bright lights. It really, it's really, really cool. Why did your mom get angry over that? I don't know. My mom is always really nice, but she got really, really mad this time. She looks scary. Okay, so what are you doing here? My mom went out, so I took a train here. You came all this way, all the way here by yourself? That's pretty gutsy. I gotta hand it to you, kid. But this is the 80s, so it's normal, so who gives a shit? Hee hee. I did a lot of chores and saved up all my allowance. Did you get off the train one station early to save money? Good for you. It's tough for a kid your age to save money. Yep. I worked really hard to get this far. But... What's wrong? I want to buy something from the cool vending machine. But it's at the back of an alley. It's dark and kind of scary. A dark alley is dangerous for a kid all by himself. Is it one of those underwear vending machines I've heard about? Got it. And you're right. You're, you're smart not to go into a dark alley alone. Yep. That's why I can't decide what to do. Well, I got what's I get what's holding the kid back, but he, does he want a soda that badly? Just a soda? Maybe it's just getting for himself, getting for him myself. Okay, yeah, go offer to buy it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, you win. I'll go buy this cool vending machine of yours. You be good and wait here. Deal? You'll do that for me? Yay! <laughs> Didn't expect anyone to be so happy over this. So where's the special vending machine? It's over this way. Follow me. All right. Oh. Is it next to the mushroom dealer? Whoa, rain in, big guy. Oh, Nagito's in there. It's in. It's in here. Uh. 
Okay. There it is. Huh? Nani? Oh, no. Nani? Well. <sighs> Oi. <laughs> what are these? Vending machine can't see me. <laughs> hey, your cool vending machine is it really that one there? <laughs> yep. Is something wrong, Mister? <laughs> so you, uh, the kid was looking at the vending machine, shilling adult merchandise. No wonder his mom flipped her lid. See? Isn't it being cool? Not even I'm old enough for that kid. What are you talking about? There's no way I can give that junk to a kid. I hate to disappoint him, but I have to turn him down. Sorry, kid. I can't keep my promise. That vending machine is a, a way out of your league. Go home to your mother. Huh? Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. You don't need to know just yet. But I already know something about that vending machine. There's secret magazines in, in it. Those magazines are covered in shrink wrap. They must be super important to be protected like that. My friend's got- my friend's big brother said so. The shrink wrap's not for protection. Not for the magazine anyway. <laughs> You'll understand one day what I want to understand now. They said it would be really educational. It's not something you need to learn now. Look, I'm an adult, but even I don't know very much. <laughs> it's deep. Never killed a man, never fucked a man. Like, <laughs> Kira's too pure. He's pure, man. He's pure. Sniffle, it's not fair. You said you'd go buy it for me. Grown-ups always lie. <coughs> Am I gonna grow up to be a liar too? I don't wanna. Yeah, but I can't hear my promise. So I'm gonna cut off a finger. When I was a kid, I used to think adults were unfair too. Yet here I am, just another line growing up. The music! Okay, I'll buy you porn. Alright, a man doesn't go back on his word. I'll keep my promise and go buy your magazine. Uh -huh. oh. oh, you will? Yeah, but then I'm putting it in the uh -huh. trash. Of course, but you have to keep it a secret from your mom. No matter what. <laughs> Yay, you're getting my magazine. Yay. Th later that night, where did you get that magazine from? Well, I saved up my allowance and I went on a train and then I met a pimp in the middle of the street and he, and he bought me it, mom. It was an adventure. I can't get, I can't get out of the shrink wrap though. I'm just gonna look at it. Keep it down. You want to be treated like a man. You gotta be patient and quiet. Uh, yep. Yeah, sorry, Mister. Thank you so much for helping me. You shouldn't expect too much. What a dilemma. I made that kid a promise, but I can't really give that stuff to a child. What do I do? This kid is the picture of bright-eyed innocence. I can't give him the magazine, but I can. But I can. I, but I can film my promise to buy it. Really? I, I got this student. Just stay back. Let's do this. Is he really gonna buy it and then just throw it away? Go get another magazine. A replacement. Mm. So. <laughs> Oh, I'm exhausted. Finally, a few minutes to myself. Mister, what are you waiting for? Go buy it right now. Office workers on their break. Whisper, whisper. Mm hmm? What did you... <laughs> what do you suppose that man is doing there? Oh, you know. What's at the end of that alley? Oh, right. He must be lonely at night. I'm surrounded. We better back off for now. But how could he bring a child with him? People are so shameless these days. Shh, he's coming this way. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, mister? Aren't you going to buy it? Well, yeah, but see, that's not it. I, uh, if those nosy women see me buying it, there's no telling what they'll say about it. I might have to wait them out. Oh, a familiar woman's voice. Hi there, President Kira. <laughs> what? You need to go buy the magazine. Wait, are, are you in it? Is that your juicy secret? What's Marina doing here? Why here? Why now? Mister? It's nothing.
What brings you out here? Oh, just wandering around. What are you doing here? I take my break at this park every now and then. I usually read or just relax on that bench. Uh, okay, sorry, we're in a hurry here. Oh, of course, see you then. I'll have to back off and hope for a chance. Wait. Does he have a son? Kira must reach the vending machine at the back of the alley without attracting attention. If he is spotted, Kira will become flustered and retreat to the starting point. Kira can choose to abandon the vending machine quest by speaking to the boy. Begin your dubious quest. Ooh. Ooh. With Metal Gear? What? <laughs> Shit. Shit. Have we been seen? No, we've been seen. Oh, President Kira, what are you doing here? No, nothing. Just taking a walk. Uh, sorry, but I'm in a hurry here. Of course, I'll see you then. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's, let's see the path thing. So she comes out, and then she turns around and looks the other way. Okay, so if I run quickly at the beginning, all right, she turns. All right. The, I can't believe that we're doing this for porn. I can't. Okay, all right, now we can go. Go, 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 go. All right, we're in. We're in. All right, now, now she's gonna turn and look. Shit. 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 No, go away. Don't turn. D oh, she's not turning. Okay, we're good. No, we we got spotted. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Better back off. Run, quickly. Quickly. Just run in. No, no. Shit. Better back off. What's the cannon here? Is it like Dark Souls? Do they remember how many times we've tried? Shit. No. Okay, sneak behind her. Sneak behind her. S s go. 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 We did it. There's no way they can see me now. Congratulations, you were able to buy a shrink wrap magazine. All that's left now is to do it to the innocent lad. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Yay, mister. You are so cool. The music. It's, it's the same music that we got the password right, right? This is far from cool. No way, you're my hero. Please, please can I have it? Before I give you this, you have to promise something. Never read it. Sure, like my postcards. Yeah. This is important. You can't open this magazine until you get home. Even there, you can't let your mother see it. Ever. What? Huh? Where am I supposed to read it then? You can't let anyone know about it. You can only read it when you're alone. Okay, I got it. And, there's more? This is the last thing. Don't hide it under your bed. It's not as safe as you think. Okay, I don't really get it, but this sounds like it's <laughs> who, who hurt you, Kiru? Is that what is that what Dama Dene is all about? Back in Mitai? The, the 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 time your Yakuza boss dad found your porn stash under the bed. Good boy. You handed the shrink wrap magazine to the boy. Thank you, Mister. I'll treasure it forever. It's really not that valuable. There will come a day when you don't need it anymore. Just be careful getting home, okay? I hope to get to that one day one myself soon. Yep, thank you very much. Heh. <laughs> Grow up strong, kid. Alright, are you gonna be my advisor now? No! Oh no! It takes so much to be a man. His name changed to Sophisticated Lad? Did it really? From Innocent Lad to Sophisticated Lad? Wow. Now that's humor. Alright, where else do we have to do for the business now? 
Popo Tenkachi Street and Nyoki Noki Academy. All right, is this one of them? Oh, we have to be friends with the uh, with the cashier. Okay, how do we become friends with the cashier? Hello. I would like to buy some Mountain Dew. All right, what should we buy? I'm gonna buy milk until you like me. Thank you for shopping with us. You're welcome. All right, I would like another milk, please. More milk. Thank you for the for the milk. All right, I would like some more milk. I can't carry anymore. Shit. I thought milk would stack. We haven't saved it in a while. Uh -huh. Do we get more for the more expensive? Oh, we could buy some healing items and then never use them. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh, sorry. Thank you for shot. Looks like you got something in your mind. So wrong. You look a lot of it. Do, do I really? Well, yeah. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have let that show. But you're right. Something's been on my mind all day. How handsome you are. What's that? The head office gave me an assignment of sorts. An assignment, huh? We have lots of competition here for, from the M store chain and others. Our stores are all very similar, don't you think? Mm. From think of it, I guess there's, there's not much difference between mm. your stores. That, that's why the <laughs> that's why the head office has to place for various branches to come up with ideas that would set Popo stores apart mm. from others. So that's why you're awesome mm. thought, huh? Yeah, I don't want to just something random that would only grab the customer's attention for five minutes. That's something to work on long term too. Silly me. I should ask customers for their opinions. You have a few minutes to spare, Daddy. son. Um, I guess. Mm. Great. So, Kirasan, is there anything you would like our stores to introduce? More milk. Let me think. What would I want at a convenience store? Uh, sofas by the magazine rank. Luxury brand goods. Parcel delivery service. Yeah, parcel delivery service. So then. You have stores all across Japan. You could use that to offer a parcel, offer a parcel delivery service. Oh gosh, that's a good idea. Why go to, go to the post office or arrange a courier when you can mail or pick up parcels at the same store you do your shopping in? It would be so convenient. I'm sure plenty of customers would make use of it. We could also offer, offer a range of discounts for, to further entice the customers. I think your idea is going to be a winner. You must be a business genius, Kira-san. <laughs> yep, yep. You're, heh, you're exaggerating. I just picked the best of three options that pop into my head. It's my gift. I think it, I'll think it through tonight and see if I can draft the proposal. Thank you so much for that terrific suggestion. All right. Time to walk out of the store and walk back in again. It worked. Thank you, Kira-san. I love you. Would you, like, would you now like to buy my store? They may be the owner, but I don't want to be an owner. Can you run it for me? K hey, Kira-san. Hey, how's it going? Give me another stamina and X. Thank you for shopping with us. Alright. Thank you for shopping with us. I shared your suggestion about offering a parcel delivery service with the head office and they jumped on the idea. I didn't tell you the last two times you bought a stamina and X, but this time I thought, now it's the one. I even got a raise thanks to that. <laughs> yeah, that's great. But it was your idea to begin with, so I owe you a big thank you. I got you this. Hope you like it. You got a berserker charm. Aw, oh, thank you. Damn. Increase your heat when you're in a jam. Cool. Alright. Head office people are so happy with this branch that they said we can expand our food offerings with a new new hot snack that will only be available here. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, congratulations. We're starting to sell today. Can you guess what it is? Let me give you a hint. It's delicious by itself or with soy sauce or mustard. It's a specialty from the Nagoya area. It's eggs! 
goes well with soy sauce or mustard, you say, Muso cutlets, steamed pork buns, hot miso soup. Okay, I don't think miso soup goes well with mustard. Like, steamed pork buns? What is it, chat? It's one. I think I got it. Is it miso cutlets? Bingo. So, starting today, we'll be selling yummy miso cutlets. <laughs> Yay, can't wait to try one. I really like them too. Oh, and the reward for guessing correctly is our brand new miso cutlet lunch set. <gasps> Thank you so much. You mean if I had guessed wrong, I wouldn't have gotten it? Wow, I thought we were friends. You're welcome. Besides, it's thanks to your input that we have these on the, lunch, on the menu now. I can't thank yeah. you enough. You give me too much credit. Besides, look at you. You become a model employee and you're excellent at customer service as well. Hmm, you think so? Well, I guess I'm not as nervous around customers uh. anymore. Not only that, but the head office likes your ideas too. Who knows? You could be the manager of this store soon. Oh, no way. I have so much more to learn before I can even start thinking about that. We have to do another question and answer session first. But if I'm getting better at my job, I have you to thank for that. How so? You were so scary looking that I was terrified of you at first, but we managed to become friends. Since then, I don't get to be around other people anymore. Chatting with customers over the till became so easy. Come on, I'm not that scary, am I? You're pretty fucking scary. Scarily handsome. Well, hee <laughs> hee. Anyway, I hope I can return the favor of making Papa your favorite store. Please keep shopping with us in your swimsuit. Oh, we're full friends now. Nice. Alright, can I buy your store now? Oh, Kirsan, I heard from other customers that you work in real estate. Is that true? Hmm, yeah, yeah, it is. That's perfect. You see, we've been looking for a reliable real estate company to manage our location. Would you be interested? Absolutely. That would be great. Are you sure about this, though? Of course. You seem dependable and you're a regular customer. What more could we want? All right, we just, we just have it now. We just have it. All right, cool. Thank you so much. All right, I'm never coming back here. All right, cool. Now where are we going? Okay, uh... Gnocchi Noki Academy. Where the fuck is that? All right, I don't think we, we, we searched up here. You are a f hamburger place. Oh man, where's Phoenix? Oh, he's here! Whoa, what? Oh, he's just bled out. Final Resident Evil, he's dead. Damn right it was your fault. Alright, that kind of looks like it. No, it says a salon. Alright, can I look on the map for it? No, it's only things that, that are here, so it's not here. Would it be on the, on the right street? Let's see, it would be on Noki Noki Academy. Noki Noki? Noki Noki, no. Like, I don't, uh, is it, it's not a place. Fuck, where did, where did we look? It could be on the outside, but I don't think we can go on the outside over here, right? No, we can't. Look up a map. Yeah, I think I might actually. Let, let me go see if I can find it real quick. And if I can't, then I'm then I'm done. It's not this. We found it. Okay. You better present it with cash or else what's the point? Wow. 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 I'm 99%. Where's the last one? Areas acquired, 0 out of 5. That's scaring the crap out of me, chat. That's scaring the crap out of me. 
Mr. President, what's going on? Pleasure King's men came by and left this. What's this? It looks like a challenge. This is waiting for you on his turf. His turf. Mm. Knowing him, I'd reckon he's trying to sell this through violence. It's a trap. I won't go for yes. you. No, I'm going. If he wants to use violence to sell things, that's fine yep. by me. What? Um. Well, please be careful. Pleasure King's turf is the empty area behind Serena. I should get going for. So before I go, when you've seen the open challenge for one of the five billionaires, your property's revenue collection will stop. Defeat that billionaire to collect your revenues again. Oh no! No! Damn it! God, I'm so mad. Alright. Alright, what buying a shrimp craft adult, adult magazine for a vending machine for that kid? Now let's see. She doesn't need to not read this one, she knows it already. There. Oi. Hey, Marina, can you mail this postcard Hi. later? Oh, certainly. Who are you sending these postcards anyway? It's a secret. You're finally putting yourself out there, Mr. President. Huh? Just don't read it, okay? <laughs> don't read it. Damn, I hope they choose my postcard. This one's gotta be right on the radio. It's gotta be. There's no way. It's got- this got- this one's gold. It's on. How you doing, everybody? It's showtime. I'm your host, Dos Camilla. As always, we kick off the show with shoutouts to our faithful listeners postcards. Come on. Judgment Kazi. Yeah, come on. Come on. See this huge postcard is from our listener. Yes! 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 <gasps> Look, he's about to cry. He's so happy. Oh. Hello, Dos Camilla san. Hello. I love your show, regular listener. Thank you. The other day, I saw a young boy wanting to buy a shrink wrap magazine from a vending machine. Shrink wrapped? Oh no, one of those, huh? The boy told me he asked his mother about the magazines in the vending machine, and she flipped her lid. Well, Kazi kun, what would be the right response? The boy was losing faith in grown ups. That wasn't right, so I decided to buy a magazine for him. Wait, what? You lost me there, judging Kazi kun. Even as a grown up, buying something like that is a little embarrassing. Who knows? Maybe someday they'll come in the mail. P.S. What does Dulce mean, Dulce Kimiya san? I have to wonder about the judgment of Judgment Kazi Kun here. What's in store for that little boy? By the way, the Dulce part of my name means sweet in Italian, but you can't sweet talk me up after that, uh, that little letter, Kazi Kun. That one's got me going sour. Oh, and that was the third time we featured a postcard from Judgment Kazi Kun. What a wacky life he leaves. Congratulations. I finally made it. Thanks, Dulce Kimiya. As a special award to celebrate Judgment Kazi Kun's achievement, I have a little surprise for him. We're sending him a porn magazine. Am I surprised? Things whoa, whoa, whoa! It was what? What do you mean? It was timed. We knew. Hey, Marina, someone's at the door. Will you get it, please? I'm in the middle of something here. Is she not there? Ding dong. Tsh, fine. Oh, he's so upset that his little radio ritual has been interrupted. Whoever this is, it has to be absolutely worst timing. It's Dulce. Loud and lively man. Hello, how's it going? Look, I'm in the middle of something. Come back some other time. Oh, now hold on a second, please. Are you by chance Kazikun? Is that any way to address someone you've never met? Ahem. How are you doing, everybody? It's showtime. It actually is him. Wait, I know that voice. How are you here, but on the radio at the same time? You're indeed I am. I'm your host, Dulce Camilla. Dulce Camilla, as in Dulce de postcards? Ha <laughs> ha. None other. This is what I meant when I had a surprise for you, Judgment Kazi Kun. It it really is him. Oh man. Judgment Kazi Kun, here is your prize for getting your postcards on the air three times. Congratulations. You got a pair of Hercules gloves. I don't have any space, better send the item box. No, I'm sending something else to the item box. We're keeping these. Stone of Enduring, fuck off. Dulce Kami Kun. Sikasan. Sorry. Um, may I shake your hand? Hi. Of course, with the gloves on. Judgment Kazi Kun, thank you for always writing in. I love those stories of yours. Okay, I should be going. Goodbye, and see you next time. Alright, I got on air! Do, 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 do. Alright, time to write a postcard to him about getting on the air. 
Dear Dulce, I, I met Dulce the other day. It was great. Oh, that's it? We're done? There's no, there's no, like, challenge to get more? Aww. It's time to take the puppies out, but first I need to finish drinking this coffee. The current best picture shows, which are on Amazon Prime uh, CA, as decided by Jads, are Vinland Saga for a TV show and Redline for a movie. I have heard of neither of these. So you're a coffee drinker now? Yeah, I started drinking coffee to get the Witcher videos done. I'm still a child, though, because they're mochas. I forced myself to drink coffee. Vin Vinland? Let's see, Vinland. Vinland Saga. Can't we just watch Berserk? Actually, that might get us banned, right? Whoa, this this blonde-haired character at the beginning looks nothing like an, an, any other anime character I've ever seen. That bodes well. Redline took seven years to make. Damn, and it only took me five seconds to decide not to watch it. Do 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 do. Uh, is a Japanese Vinland Saga is a is a Japanese historical manga series written and illustrated by manga author Makoto Yukamura. Uh, the series is published by Koto. Okay, and I want like plot synopsis. But not on Wikipedia, because Wikipedia can ruin it. It's Vikings. Hmm... Is Cowboy Bebop on there? Should I just, like, overrule chat? We're just gonna watch Pow Cowboy Bebop. But then no one will show up, because they'll be like, Damn it, again? I'm not watching that again. Alright, anyway, 10 minute break. I'm gonna go take puppies out. Uh, it might be a little more than 10 minutes actually because um, puppies need to poop. So uh, I'll be back and then uh, we'll continue with the game for a bit. When is the watch party? We're gonna do it in December, but only if you guys are good.
Hey, how's it going? Let's make him watch Panty and Stocking. Panty and Stocking. Oh God. Is this even anime? This looks like, like some cross between Dexter's Lab and Powerpuff Girls. Shouldn't turn the music off. How much longer is this thing going for? Uh, at least an hour. I don't think we're doing any main quest stuff today. I mean, we're not doing any side stuff today. Please do some main quests, please. I've been doing the main quest all day. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, let's put some music back on. Uh, I have three fan arts to show, and I have some people to say thank you to. What's a, what's another good track from Yakuza 0? Yakuza boss music. Okay, well, I think that's not what we want. Okay, where is it? Pledge of Demon? No. Fiercest Warrior. Pretty good. Thank you, Vilv, or some say Vile, for the 50 month reset with Heyo. Heyo, Vilv. I thought I was on top of this, but I guess not. I, I went a long time without reading it. I must have got into bowling, I guess. Fish of the North Star, as these 200 misses say, I've arrived for my weeb absolution, by which I, of course, mean my daily dose of absolute weebery. Thank you, Fish of the North Star. Zariel also says, I sit on my window plucking a flower. He loves it, he hates it. He loves it, he hates <laughs> uh, Red Yellow has uh, subscribed for the first time. Welcome, Red Yellow. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Kyrie Mind has resubscribed for three months with Hello from Turkey, Love and Kisses to All, Heart, Life is Pretty, Pretty Hard Out Here. Thank you for the uh, for loves and kisses and for the resub, Kyrie Mind. Hope things get better. Tell 690 100 bits to say, um, Bowling Girl has Chadworth hands, does she? Is that because she rolled she rolled that sneaky uh, split or spare? Bot Commander has resubscribed for three months with It's Spooktober, Joe. It is. It is. Should we play Spooky Scary Telesons instead? Maybe we'll open stream with that tomorrow. Uh, Friendly Salad 93 is 100 bits to say, get Joe, 
Get Joe just wanted to get your opinion on the Bethesda deal. Do you think all games will only be on Xbox and PC? It seems that way, or there might be just some uh, timed exclusives. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, with the amount that they paid for it, they sh probably should just be on Xbox and PC. I don't know. We'll see. Can we have a proper vote for the anime? Someone says in chat, like the one we had for streams many years ago. Um... I'll look up exactly how it works because maybe I have access to the uh, to the full suite of Watch Party for for stuff on Amazon Prime. I don't know how it works for um, for streaming on Twitch. We'll see if there's more candidates than you guys think. I'll, I'll look up how to do it because I have no idea how to do it. Top of all, use fifty business to say is this the streamer who only got a three out of ten in the split game? Exactly, it is. Yeah, sorry. It's fun though. I like to do it again. Isolate Spaceman says, did you get the horny ending? It's the only ending. Uh, KSC Official says, if you like bowling splits, you are going to love pool puzzles too. There are pool puzzles? Oh man, time to get snookered. Uh, Lakusign says, rods out with my boy Kiru. Waffles Man says, uh, Joe, your laugh gives me life. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad that you all like my laugh so much. Well, most of you do. Some of you might hate it. If you hate my laugh, I don't know why you'd watch the streams, because I'll laugh at pretty much anything. <sighs> Not true, actually, but you know. If something hits me as funny, I will laugh. Raphael says, Everybody knows that Misato is the is the best Evangelion woman. I understood some of those words. Barrier Chiro Strikabo says, uh, Imagine watching a story about how mental illness affects your youth and traumatizes them, and then your main takeaway is arguing over which 12-year-old girl is hottest. I don't know what you're talking about, but, um, you know, weeb it or leave it, right? That's weebs for you. Uh, depressing, depressed Luigi has used 100 bits to say, I'm offended after that quality bait. Was that <laughs> the year of Luigi bait? Commander Libra says, uh, leans close to the mic, it's free real estate. Yep. Rift Salt has rescored for two months with Poggers. I'm now a weeb of two, for two months. Thanks to Joe and his amazing anime channel. Damn. All right, that one actually got to me. Good job, Rift Salt. I thought, I didn't think the thanks weeb messages could get to me, but being a weeb because you're subbing, yeah, that, that, that's a new one. Thank you, Rift Salt. Mr. Silver Strike has rescored for eight months. Thanks for the great streams and hilarious moments, Joe. Keep the random dad jokes coming. I think you have a real talent for them, Pog Champ. Well, I, I am the dad guy. Thank you, Mr. Silver Strike. Thank you, thank you. Uh, time Time Seork has used a thousand bits to say, if this makes you uncomfortable in any way, don't worry about reading this aloud. Okay, let me read it first. Okay, I'll read this out loud. Uh, I know that this isn't really relevant to this stream, but I'm currently watching through the Ace Attorney VODs and there's something I feel we need to clarify if this hasn't been this hasn't been since then. The term lolly as defined by gisho.org means a young girl or in some cases a childlike woman. It is a colloquialism, not the simple fetish term that some of chat insisted it was. Yeah, I, I will agree that there's probably some uses for it that are legitimate and, and aren't creepy, but the way that it has just been taken to this creepy end, um, I, I just feel really comfortable in just being like blanket ban, like not even considering it for the stream. If it was a serious conversation or, or like like a debate or anything like that, or you know a proper discussion about it, that's another thing. But in terms of the streams and how it was being used and everything like that, I'm just just like no, just fuck it. Like I'm not even I'm not even gonna consider it. Like that's it. I hope that's okay. And if it's not, mm, yeah, I, I I'm not really comfortable getting into it. But no, I, I, I can understand that there's some nuance there. Laku Sign is used 150 bits to say you should you should put the last song on Yakuza Zero OST on Spotify uh, on loop for the next break. Someone someone used my email address and signed me up for a Spotify account. And Spotify let them do it without having to verify the email. Like, what the fuck, Spotify? I had to spend some time going in and deleting a Spotify account that someone made with my email address. Like, I was very careful. I didn't click on any links because I thought I might have been phishing. Like, I was very careful. I didn't click on any links whatsoever. I went to Spotify manually to, to find out what it was. Like, did a, did a reset password request manually on the Spotify, uh, like, site. And then went through that. I didn't click on any of the other shit that was sent. And, and yeah, it's, like, Spotify actually let someone sign, a, sign up an account with my email address. It's fucking crazy. What songs did you listen to? I don't think they listened to anything. I just deleted the whole thing. I think it was a bot that did it. Just just bots going through through email addresses. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. I probably will get a Spotify account soon though. Lily just got one for the first time and she likes it a lot. And um, yeah, but I don't know. I don't really have that much time to listen to music again. Yeah. 
Uh, time, time New York also used 500 bits a, a, after that. Okay, this one, I don't want to get into it, so this one I'll just read myself. Thank you for the messages, though, uh, Time New York. I, I hope that you're okay with, uh, like, I, I hope you don't feel dismissed. I just, I just, yeah, it's just not something I, I really want to get into. Oh, okay, this is actually, okay, this is fine. So, basically, uh, to summarize, it's the difference between what, what was said before and the difference between that and something called Lollycon. And apparently Lollycon is different. I'm guessing the root comes from Lolita, and Lollycon and Lolita have different, different meanings and stuff. Okay, again, I just, yeah, okay. Thank you for the messages. Is Lollicon like a bad thing to say? Maybe I shouldn't say that word, sorry. Uh, just Her Zero, or Just Hero, I think it's Just Hero, has used 5,000 bits. I wanted to write a soppy, long ass message about your videos helping me, but that won't go well because I'm as good as expressing myself as a brick wall. So I'll just say to everyone, enjoy life. The best parts are when you're laughing. Also, personal request any plans to play the Xenoblade remake on stream? Yeah, eventually we'll get to that. Um, I would like to see that, definitely, to see if it's in any way as cringy or as, or as uh, uh, funny as Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, it's been requested quite a bit. I think we'll definitely, definitely. Uh, play that at some point uh probably be next year we'll get into that uh, i think that's on the list before any more yakuza games actually so i'm not sure when we'll get to that uh thank you so much for the message and, and for the insane amount of bits uh just hero um i'm glad that the the videos can help you uh, i know that some people um like the videos they use them to help them like relax and eventually fall asleep some of them also find them that they can uh that the videos help them uh deal with anxiety uh, and that means a lot to me because Lily suffers quite a bit from anxiety. Lily is, is bipolar, if you didn't know that. Um, I don't myself suffer from anxiety all that much. I have experienced more anxiety than I ever have this year. Um, and I experienced more anxiety before that after becoming a, a father. But before that, I didn't really experience anxiety all that much at all. Um, but like lately, I've, I've been having my own experiences with that. Um, so th that the videos can help anyone with that like because they're very methodical, a, a little bit monotone. Um, depends on the video and it's just like you can just sink into this being like explained to you at a, at a quite a regular rhythm Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm really happy that the videos can help anyone with that. So uh, thank you for letting me know and, and uh, thank you so much just here Math Matthew Penneth, what could it mean has recently subscribed for four months with this music slaps Are you talking about this one? Or are you talking about Friday night? Both of them are pretty good Thank you Matthew uh, Samuel Ag Aguirre. Did I get it right? Aguirre? God damn it. Zero nine. Has discovered 10 months. Joe, I'm so happy you will be giving a chance to see how see anime with us. Thank you, Joe. You always know how to bait. I mean, to make us happy, of course. Yeah, it's happening for sure, right? It's happening for sure. Tom Lolly has used some bits to say, for some reason Jazz is trying to get you to not to, to not watch bad shows. Come talk to me if you want some anime that will both make you and chat suffer. Exactly, we have to watch bad anime. And then I will judge anime on that forever and ever. All anime is bad because the first anime we watched was... Uh, Bleach 3 Reckoning Justice Remake. <laughs> Did you watch Clorox 7 with, with on Joe's watch party? Clorox 7 is my favorite. Squirrel at all 13 has resubscribed for 26 months. Uh, I'm about two days behind, so I'm disappearing to be a VOD girl for a bit. Hope your week has, has been good so far, Joe. Uh, beginning week was pretty bad, but uh, it's it's getting better. Um, nothing for any reason, just just a, a bit of a stressful week for me. Bad sleep, but um, I got quite a lot of sleep last night. Too much actually, so I'm catching up a little bit. Thank you for the message. Always good to, to see you, Squirrel Turtle. Hopefully you listen to this when you get there in the VOD. Deadfish Walking, you see to say, Thanks to your Witcher videos, I started reading the Witcher books and I'm almost finished. But I'm almost finished with Blood of Elves and just realizing that I skipped Sword of Destiny. How bad did I screw up that upon? Not that bad. Uh, you should go back and read it, I think. Um, so reading the first two gives some context for the rest of them. But um, yeah, Sword of Destiny probably more. Yeah, I, I think you should go back. But you, you can continue if you want. You, you didn't screw up that badly. Sword of Destiny wasn't actually available in English for a while after some of the parts of the saga. So uh, that's how a lot of people experience them if they could only read them in English. So you're not too far off. But I suggest you stop and, and go back and, and read it. And the last few on my list right now are Busy the Kid. 
513 sub. How many jokes about drinking a cup of Joe do you hear in your household nowadays? <laughs> Uh, none actually. Uh, thank you. Um, you know, I'm 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 mostly dad around here, so yeah. Not not really. Uh, you think so though? But thank you, busy the kid. Uh, Red Zephyr submits. Uh, there are two main Yakuza spinoffs with English VA. One is called Fists of the North Star, which is okay. I thought Fists of the North Star was an actual anime. Even I know that. Is is that Yakuza or? And there is Judgment or Judge Eyes in in in, Jack, in Japan, which is amazing. There's a Judgment game. Do they have the song? Drew Carey has been for 29 months. Thank you, Drew Carey. More. Please, everyone, install the My Waifu Chrome Firefox add-on. It adds your waifu next to your name in ch Twitch chat, so everyone can see. Oh man, that that sounds like a good addition. <laughs> My Waifu is uh is is Hunter Hunter Two or is it Hunter Seven? What's that mean? I used to use hundred bits to say that British accent gives me life. The British accent ending. I used to be able to do a pitch perfect British accent because I, w I am British, um, but I can't do it anymore. Um, if I ever go back uh, for a bit, I will make sure to record myself speaking with a Welsh accent. Um, if I went if I went to England, I'd probably get an English accent fairly quickly too. I'm very very uh, susceptible to accents. Raphael has used 100 bits to say uh, there's a wild discussion about anime on Discord as usual. Yeah, sometimes I skim through Dragon's Den after a stream, and it, like, uh, and if you guys don't talk about, if you guys just talk about the stream, there's hardly anything. But if you guys go into an anime discussion, it takes like like five minutes to scroll through everything that happened during the stream. It's just just insane if the anime discussion gets going. When are we gonna add a, an, an anime chat? What the fuck, you're British? Unsub I am British. Yep, I'm Welsh, born in Wales. Lived there until I was um, until I was four, and then moved to Canada, and then moved back to Wales when I was nine, and then moved back here uh, to Canada when I was around fifteen. I can't exactly remember when it was. Anyway, this is by who is this by? Let's put a different song on. Let's put Friday Night back on. I lied. Do, do, do. I went to Wales as a kid. It wasn't a great trip, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's that's Wales. Yep, yep. I can confirm that you went to the right place. <laughs> do, 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 do. This was Assistant Weeby. Virgin infesting yourself, the most expensive thing in the game, very slow, unnecessary, chads can beat the game without maxing it. Oh no, now I'm not gonna upgrade. Most of it is useless because you only need furry mode, beast mode, chad cat fights, actually more fun than an idle game, no bullshit, just girls in bikinis fighting it out, brings back video games to its pure essence, mashing buttons and blatant sexism, legitimately harder than mahjong, lets you spend up to 100 mil on pure entertainment. Thad, Thad, Mr. Shakedown, breaks the time continuum and exists in two towns at once. One of the hardest things in the game, but appears in Chapter 2. Doesn't care about the shitty empty lot, just wants to hang out. Takes all your money instead of just 100 million. Lad crippling debt due to Genshin Impact. What is this Dong Chin that's here? Requires your real money to progress, such immersion. Has purposefully shit stories so you can focus on the gambling. Objectively better than Yuzuka in amount of waifus. Gives you a free Dulok so you can get to invest in him instead of yourself. Nice. Nice. Surely this thing uh, uh, with the Primo Gems on it is just, you know, a piece of cloth that's hanging down, right? Uh, this one is by Anxious Shortstack, posted by Backseat Game. Oh wow, it's huge. Oh cool, you put your name on it. Thank you for doing that. I always like when people put their name on it. Promote yourself, everyone. Get the hustle. Hmm, let's see what crabs take a bite today. Small bait. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a satire. Hmm, not bad, but maybe I need bigger bait. Medium bait. Akechi would have noticed the body was missing. 
Now we're cooking with gas. What about big bait? Sprinklers on top. Look at the size of the fish coming in. <laughs> Some fucking magic carp. Whoa, that's rad. 1103. Ace Attorney is a bad video game. Tis, tis, tis. He has much to learn still. <laughs> Nice. Is the seven the uh, the other end of his hat? Look how trained the fan artists have me looking for for secret numbers in in the uh, in the fan art. Look at the the gosh darn it dragon expression. This is great. Thank you, anxious short stack. Thank you. Ooh, there's another one here now. Merrick just slipping one in. But first... You promise we're going to the next story mission, Fido-chan? Totally, Joe-senpai. Just keep your eyes closed. Lewd. Whoa. Whoa. This is by Jack-chan. Fido-chan looking pretty cute. Thank you, Jack Chan. This is pretty lewd. I don't know. I should have given you guys a warning. Merrick, is this is this the second time it's happened that that um, one one of your chans gets fan art? What's that like? <laughs> Fido Chan. Oh, thank you, Jack Chan. Pretty great. When a real estate agent learns that bowling really well doesn't mean he can buy the bowling alley. <laughs> uh. Pretty good, pretty good. Thank you, Merrick. Uh, Arito Gape says, uh, a creative director on Stadia is having a blunder moment on Twitter. Uh, and he said that streamers should pay publisher license to stream games. What's your take on this? Mm, okay, so... So, off, like, my knee-jerk reaction is that that ship has sailed. And, like, there's no way you're gonna, you're gonna be able to do that now. Um, but, like... A more complex answer would be that if it was a reasonable amount that you had to pay and there was some like level that you could not have to pay it unless you and, until you get to a certain level of audience, you know, um, because otherwise it would just kill anyone that's trying to get into streaming. It, it would kill streaming because no, like eventually the, the streamers that we have that are established that could afford to pay it would um, would not be able to stream anymore because they would move on to other things or they would die or you know what I mean. And no one's going to be able to get in, into into uh, into streaming at that point. So it would have to be over a certain level of audience. Uh, it had to be a reasonable amount. But in, if in return you ha have to deal with absolutely no copyright BS ever. Like no copyright BS on YouTube or, or or Twitch for any of your streams at all. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't have to deal with any of that bullshit. Um, I, I could see there being room for for that change happening. I can I can see where they're coming from, but you know, like in almost every case, uh, streamer streaming a game is is a huge net positive for, for the game developers. Like. Um, I just learned that myself. How many people are, are starting to play Genshin Impact because we did a streamer the other day? I feel kind of bad about that, actually. How many people are playing Yakuza because we're playing Yakuza? How many people played Yakuza ahead of time because they knew we were going to play Yakuza? You know what I mean? So it's always a net positive. But at the same time, I can I can kind of see how a game developer or publisher might look at the amount of money the streamers are making and being like, wow, they're making that off the backs of our product and we're not getting anything for it directly because they're, they don't really know how they can measure sales compared to the streams right so i can, I can kind of see where they're coming from so i could see there could be some sort of a, a, a good deal that could be made there if it was a reasonable amount and also it meant that you wouldn't have to deal with any copyright strikes ever 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 um so yeah that's that's how i feel whoo all right
Now back to the good part. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Wanye Quest, thank you very much for the 19 months. Wanye Quest, always fun to say your name. I think of Kanye every single time. I say Spaceman says, Ace is trying to use a game, lol. <laughs> and last is uh, Chucker uh, with a six month resub. I think Chucker. Yeah, thank you, Chucker. Thank you, thank you. I have definitely watched or let's play instead of playing a game. Sure, um, but what kind of, is it? Is it actually a game that you've done that or has it been like a story game? I can see it happening, but I think a net positive is is the answer there. Would you have bought the game if it, if it was for let's play? I don't know. It kind of it kind of gets close to that piracy comment again, right? Like shit, where, where, where was it? Did the quest in here? Business, completion list. Notebook help. Sub stories. Oh, wow. That's a lot of sub stories. Serena, that's it. Thank you. So, where is Serena? Serena Street? Shit. I don't know where that is. This must be painful if you know. I'm sorry. Serena. Okay, there we go. Oh, we should save it. Legend King, call me out. Should I go take him over now? No, let's go save it. No, not right now. He's going to be a tough opponent, so I should make sure I'm ready. dead by the way remember the time the devs of more stream here with read, read the net, net benefits yeah i think some people went on to buy the game because of that there are at least a bunch of people in chat that were saying you know because you did this and interacted with us this way i'm gonna buy your game and try it out so yeah there are definitely ways to do it but to be perhaps maybe a little too serious about that, like the amount of time that that dev was here doing that, was that worth it? Probably, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's only games that have already made it that are gonna look at streaming as maybe being a net negative because they don't need the publicity. And at that point, it's just greed, you know. You know, even if you're even if you're missing out a little bit, it probably still is a, a, a gigantic net positive, and they don't even realize it. But it's just all about squeezing a, enough money as you can. Whoa, is that porn? I thought I saw a sign there. Okay, it's not. Do you, sorry, do you always finish a game that you started? Do you sometimes just quit the game entirely? Uh, if I play it for a substantial amount of time, I almost always finish, but uh, sometimes I will play a game only for an hour and then never go back to it. I like to finish games that I start. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. All right, I'm here. What do you want, Ledger King? <laughs> yeah, what do I want? I want to kick your ass. Are you stupid or something? Come on, you know exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. Hmm? We're doing karaoke. Oh. I warned you last time, right? I told you to back off, and if you don't, I don't, and if I don't, you'll kill me. Is that it? Yeah, on the dance floor. <laughs> Panic at the disco. Haha, <laughs> at least you're not completely stupid. Once you're dead, I can take back all the properties you took from me. It'll be satisfying and convenient. Oh, it's good because I have a convenience store. If you hadn't gotten my way, I would have crushed Yamanoi and taken control of this whole area already. You've just been a big pain in the ass, you know that? If your grand plan's got derailed by a beginner like me, what's to say about what's that to say about your business skills? 
But then again, your business skills are all about beating up old folks like y Yamanoi. You really thought you could build an empire based on that? Uh -huh. Wait, are you disrespecting me? Me? One of the five billionaires? Alright, that does it. Yeah, but you probably only have one billion, whereas the other guys have like like more than one billion. I'll show you what it show you what the Leisure King is truly capable of. Yo, we're gonna beat him to a bloody pulp, boys. Ooh, the music. Look at this guy, look at this bystander just watching in the background. He's like, whoa, what's going on over there? Reasonable. Walk stance and hit me. Okay, the the block into an instant counter is annoying me. How do I do that? What if there's a, like, is he in, like, rush stance and there's, like, a move in there I don't understand? Complete domination. Uh, this guy's too strong. What's the matter? Weren't you going to kill me? Uh, listen, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Holy shit. You're freaking pathetic. You know that? And you call yourself the Leisure King? Are these the other... These are the other four billionaires. Oh, man. Fucking Psycho Mantis. Liquid Snake. Mm hmm. It's you guys. Oh, thank God. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Hey, I guess you don't know them. Allow me to introduce you. We are the five billionaires. We? What are you talking about? We? You're the five billionaires. All right, do we fight all all five of them at one point? <laughs> Man, I'm saved. With you guys by my side, we're invincible. Let's take care of this guy together. What are you talking about, loser? Nani? What? Why would we bother helping you? You're completely useless. You had money, sure, but that's it. Uh? Besides, you just got your ass kicked from here to Osaka. None of us want to be seen with you anymore. Get the hell out of here. We're now the four billionaires. What? What? No way, we're in this together, right? <laughs> Effeminate man? Hee <laughs> hee. What are you babbling on about, honey? The five billionaires aren't friends, least of all with you. We just happen to be business tycoons who share the same objective. We're not here to make friends. 
and we have no interest in bailing you out. But, but, we didn't come here to bail your sorry ass out of the, fi out of the fire. I thought I said five. We came to check out the guy who put an end to your career. I'd wager we'll be seeing more of him soon enough. So, your president Kiru, they call me the Gambling King. Nice to meet you. Are you next? And this is, <laughs> I'm the Pleasure King, honey. I do my thing around the Pink Street area. A pleasure to meet you. I'm the Media King, but you can call me the Disco King. He looks familiar. He looks like someone. I'm the Electronics King. Hi. Now you've taken out the Leisure King, this Tenkachi Street area is basically yours. Congrats on your big win. What are you going to do next, huh? Do you have your sights set, set beyond the Tenkachi Street area too? Uh. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to let you use Kamurocho for your little money games. <laughs> wow, you've got a mouth on you, honey. Why do you care so much about this hot mess of a town anyway? Yep. Oh, give the lad a break. Frankly, I don't care about the cesspool either, but I do care about the money it generates. I can do that for money. This place means so much to you. Go ahead and try to take it from us. Let's see what you're made of. Uh. Can we do all four now at the same time, or is it just like one at a time? You're on. By the way, the Ledger King was the weakest of the five billionaires by far. Don't get cocky. He only had one billion. Well, good luck to you and that wee little company of yours. I'm looking forward to playing with you, honey. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's meet again. Haha. -ha. Until then, adios. Bye. Just bye. Okay. The Gambling King, the Pleasure King, the Media King, and the Electronics King, huh? Taking them on won't be easy. Ahem. Um. Oh, you're still here? You want to be an advisor now? Uh, hey, if you don't mind, can I join up with you guys? Ready? What? Um, yeah, if you, I've messed things up pretty badly for the five billionaires. If he finds me, I'm dead meat. Who's this he? Oh, the sixth billionaire. Watch out for him. It is, isn't it? The one trillionaire. Oh, never mind that part. Just let me join your company so I can lay low the for therefore I'll do any work you give me. If it's not too much to ask, can I can I bring my man Takashita too, please? Sorry, not big on pride, are you? Whatever, that's fine. We're short staffed anyway. <laughs> Alright, I owe you man. The Leisure Games joined your team as a manager. Jakuda Takashita Shida has joined your team as security. Oh, he's pretty good. This is where the real battle begins. Bra blocks have been unlocked for the brawler style. New items. What? Blocks has been unlocked for the brawler style. Is that what he was doing? Oh, oh, like these are blocks. Oh, okay. They look more like circles to me, but okay. So, wow, we can get all the way down here. Oh, okay. We weren't to, we weren't supposed to do this yet. <laughs> now back to the good part. Why not? Because they're so expensive, we can't even afford them at all. Dead, by the way. You managed to defeat the Leisure King, Kirisan. Honestly, I'm impressed. I'm glad I asked you to take over. Um, excuse me, Leisure King stopped by a little while ago. Apparently say hello. What's uh. going on here? He'll be working with us here, actually. He was tough as an opponent, but we'll be much better off with him as an ally. Is that okay with you, Yamane? Yeah. Yeah. He did come to apologize to me directly, and I'm not one to allow petty feelings to get in the way of acquiring valuable manpower. I agree. We should bring him aboard. Disregard emotions. Acquire currency. 
The Leisure King also brought some property deeds and left them to you to make up for things, he said. I checked them. It turns out their property is located in the other five billionaires' areas. They should serve as perfect beachheads when moving our way into those areas. <laughs> the Media King's area is going to take a little bit of time to get ready, but I already have the other three prepped. Media King is last? The Electronics King area... Okay, all been unlocked. <laughs> I know that's a lot of new work on your plate, but let's do our best, Mr. President. All right. Oh yes, kira I forgot to tell you about upgrading the interior. You mean the decor here? Yes, I have an old connection who can help us change the interior office for free, even. Free, huh? That's great. Now you mention it, it's kind of boring if we're looking at the same four walls all the time. Might be good to change things up. I completely agree. If you want to upgrade the interior, just let me know. Interior upgrades. You can now upgrade the interior of Kira's office. Talk to Yamanoi if you want to change the, de the, the, the decor. Is there a Feng Shui minigame to balance the room? Only the, the default interior is available to start. You can use completion points earned from the completion list to obtain additional interior types. Try visiting the shrine when you have completion points. Alright. This is the main quest! Cool red. Ooh, I like very trashy. All right. Terrace green. Let's go with the green. Oh my God. Oh, it shows you where they are after you get them. Can I run these without any, um... Without any managers? It doesn't even seem worth it to run these, but I guess it's like it's like a free million. about except for the worker pay this is like boomer level capitalism there's like the, the worker pay is irrelevant it's like next to nothing feels bad man because it's true feels bad man I know nothing about business though, for real. Absolutely nothing. the biggest fan of this mini game like this part here like I wish there was just a just automatically upgrade them all button maybe there is and I'm missing it like I appreciate getting the better ones so you can get it but like yeah just just not the biggest fan of like oh I can't remember if we did all these or not let me go through it and see
What do you mean, joke? So you need to do this to get enough money to, to get your upgrades and shit. Like, this is important. Like, I'm not kidding when I say this is like... Like, it is side stuff, of course, but I think it is, like, essential to the experience. Like, th there's no way I'm affording, like, fucking, like, a billion shit, like, on all these uh, upgrade lines without having to do- Like, this seems like where the real money is. Not that we're gonna get all of them, but I feel like it is important. Alright, can we get the bowling now? Mac ball, there we go. You never come. So wrong. Oh, don't tell me you forgot. The challenge has already started. I vaguely recall you saying something about that. So what kind of challenge is it? Get a turkey while you're bowling with us and win an amazing prize. The fuck is a turkey? Turkey? That was three strikes in a row, right? Yes, that's it. I did that already. What's the prize? A turkey. So you get a turkey for a turkey. Precisely. Someone thought it'd be very funny me. Bowl of turkey and get a delicious turkey to eat. It's perfect for the Christmas season. Merry Christmas. To be honest, I've never had turkey before. Mm. It's like chicken, but a little better. Sometimes. What? Are you serious? That crispy skin. That juicy meat. Nothing beats a plump bird. Roasted perfection. Dark meat better than white meat. I will fight all of you on this. Dark meat is better than white meat. You've been missing out big time. Roast turkey is the best. She made it sound so good. Now I really want to try it. Alright, in that case, I'm up for the challenge. I knew you would be. I hope you do, you do get a turkey in both meanings of the word. I'll play alone. That would be 500, please. People really think white meat's better than dark meat? You guys are crazy. Absolutely crazy. How many frames would you like to play? Three frames. I can't believe chat is so uncultured. All of you in chat. I can't believe you're all so uncultured that you think that, that, that white meat's better than dark meat. Huh. God damn it. Two? I think two. Huh. Honestly, that might be enough right there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing a curve. Mm. This is it. This is it. This is the one. The way I roast the turkey, the white meat is actually pretty good too, but the dark meat's still better. I roast the turkey breast side down, so it, so the white meat gets really moist. Mm. I make really good turkey gravy too. Aw, oh, damn it! I want to make a turkey now. Music. We didn't do Thanksgiving this year. All right, I think this needs a three, a three spin. Huh. How, how have I fucking lost the, the touch of bowling now? What the fuck is this shit? Hmm. 
Wow. Wow. You are, I didn't fail. No, I didn't fail. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We can get three strikes in a row at the end as long as we get a strike at the end. We have not already lost. All right, let's put a little bit of a spin on it. Just a little, a tiny little bit of spin. A tiny little bit of spin. All right, there we go. Wow. 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 10 frames. Yeah, doing the 10 frame might be better. We have more chances, yeah. We keep doing playing like this, they're gonna have to put the little bumpers up. Why do they even have different balls? Heaviest ball all the time. Alright, two spin, two spin. This is the one, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. We're back on target now, here's the strike. What? How? How? Alright, here we go, we got a hundred. Alright, two spin, two spin. Here we go, we're, we're good. This is the one, we're back on, back on the train, back on the train, back on the train. Yeah, we're back on. We're back, baby. We're back. This is totally my bag, baby. It totally is my bag. Here we go, here we go. Oh, 97, we're back on, back on the bowling train. Here we go, choo choo, motherfuckers, choo choo. Here we go, strike number two, strike number two. Boom, here comes the turkey. Yep, strike number two, strike number two. Here we go, all right, here comes strike number three. Here comes the turkey, here comes the turkey, here comes the turkey. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 100, here we go, two spin on it. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. Two spin, two spin. Here we go, strike number three. Get the turkey ready, get the garlic ready, let's go. Three spin, what? What? That clipped through it. It clipped through it. I disagree. Hitbox bullshit. It clipped through it. I saw the bottom clip through it. This is bullshit. Fucking bullshit. No way. No way. I'm so mad. I'm so angry. Yo. <sighs> Bullshit, gotta be. All right, we're back, baby. We're back. We're back. We're back. First strike. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're, we're now we're cooking with fire. Now we're fucking cooking with gas. All right, here we go. Here we go. Three spin. Three spin. No, two spin. Two spin. Three. Mm. Spin. All right, here we go. Here we go. Strike number two. Strike number two. What? How did it get the back one? How did that happen? That's impossible. Now we're doing split game bullshit. This is fucking terrible. I can't believe this shit. All right, you know what? I don't give a shit. Full spin, full spin. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? Oh, right in the shitter. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Full spin, full spin. I'm, I'm practicing, I'm a full spin bowler now. Full spins all the time. Nothing but full spins here on the, on the jandy bowling. Oh, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. All right. All right, what if it's like off on this, like as left as we can go? Full spin, full spin. Mm. This would have been a strike for sure. Oh, okay. We've lost it. We've lost it. Mm. We've lost our mojo, baby. All right, two spin, two spin. Huh. Are we back? How does that even happen? How many times did we get three strikes in a row when we didn't have to do it? <sighs> we need to stop doing two spins. We got so many strikes in a row last time doing two spins. I mean one spin. One spin new meta? Joe doesn't realize it's like the foxy boxing. It doesn't matter what you do. The strikes are RNG. 
best game, by the way. Okay, we need we need an 18 pound ball is the problem. How do I unlock the 18 pound ball? Oh, this needs a three spin. This is a three, I feel it, it's a three spin for sure. All right, here we go, here's a strike. Put the X on already. That's what I thought. Hope you put the X on already or else you just waste your time. You trust me when I call it. You trust me when I call the spin. All right, no, I'm not even spinning this one. Don't even need a spin. Here we go, no spin. No spin, still gonna get an X. Here we go, strike, strike two. Strike, what? How? How? You can buy a heavier ball at Don Quixote. Really? Really? It's this game. I don't know. I don't know if you're trolling or not. It's this game. Two strikes, two strikes. Sh I mean, I mean, Dong, Dong, Kwai, 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 Gotti. Fuck. God, I mean, what's that music? Shh. Fuck, man. That was like my favorite joke. Mm. Come on. Yes, turkey time. Turkey time. Now let's get the stuffing. All right, all right, four for stuffing. Here we go. Now let's get the stuffing. All right, here we go. Here we go. Stuffing time. No, we're not getting stuffing. No stuffing. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Three spin. Huh. This is a three spin for sure. This is a three spinner. We have fun chat? Seriously, seriously, seriously. So much fucking, fucking booty chatter going on in this fucking bowling hall. I swear to God. I swear to God. Now I have to like slam it into the other one. This is it. I feel it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's going to like, just like ricochet. Like, wow, it didn't. Wow, it didn't. This is a one spin. I lied, it's a two spin. It's a two spin. It was a one spin. It was a fucking one spin. It was a one spin all along. You can fish up a 20 pound bowling ball. Okay, we'll do nothing but fishing next round. Huh. Have you guys seen that video of, of um, I, I, I can't remember. The, the, I don't know if it's a teenager or adults bowling. I think it was teenagers bowling, and they throw the ball up onto the thing, and it goes too high up in the air, breaks through the huh. ceiling, and activates the sprinkler system. <laughs> <laughs> they put too much spin on that ball. That's what I think the problem is. Huh. What the fuck? That, that pin like threaded the needle through those three to hit that one. What the fuck? Huh. Alright, this is a four spin. No, it's a three spin. Huh. Oh no, we did four spin! Was it, if that was a three spin, it would it would have been a strike. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, we will never knock that pin down. We got turkey. We got turkey. Hey, give us the turkey. Wow, you got a turkey. Congratulations. <laughs> That's what happens when I don't hold back. And the special prize for customers who get a turkey is an actual turkey. Is it alive? Here comes my delicious turkey. No, no, it's alive. So I won't keep you waiting. Here's your turkey. Ta-da. <laughs> That's that's not even a turkey. That's a chicken. Hmm, a turkey. With a crispy skin, juicy inside, a plump bird roasted to perfection. It's a bit fresher than I thought. 
Oh, yes. Well, is the chicken an advisor? We didn't specify when we ordered, and this is what they sent us. And it's not even a turkey. It's a chicken. Look at it. Oh, my. You're absolutely right. How did that happen? Oh, come on. Did you get the chicken ending? The chicken ending's my fate. What am I supposed to do with a live chicken? I'm terribly sorry. The least I can do is cook it for you. We've got a kitchen in the back. Is fried chicken okay? You're going to cook it now? Yes, so you'll at least get a meal out of it. But that means you have to kill this chicken. I'm attached to the chicken. <laughs> he loves the chicken. That's no problem. I grew up on a poultry farm. What? Oh, you did? No, wait. Give me a minute to think about it. You grew up on a poultry farm, can kill a chicken with her bare hands, doesn't give a shit, loves bowling fetish poses. Are we gonna name the chicken? Cluckers? Aww. Cluck. Mm -hmm. Um, this chicken. I want to keep it. Mm -hmm. What? You're gonna keep it as a pet? Uh. Is that not allowed? No, it's fine, but I thought you wanted to want it cooked, you know, a juicy roast chicken with crispy skin. Mm -hmm. Well, I can have that some other time with some other chicken. I like ch I'm okay then. This is your chicken now. Congratulations. Chicken security. Hello, chicken. Your name will be Nugget. Chicken Nugget. What? Nice. Nugget is Really? He's a man- <laughs> I was kidding. I was kidding. What the fuck? No way. What the fuck? Okay. All right. All right. What the He's terrible. He's the- But he has three stars financial savvy. What the fuck? What are you talking about? Nugget, what should we do tonight? Oh man, you have you cost us some money, uh, Nugget, but your customer satisfaction is through the roof. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. Yeah, put new curtains. Yeah, okay. All right, get some more oats. What for? What the fuck, chicken manager? All right, are we friends? I want to buy the bowling alley. By the way, I heard you work in real estate. Is that true? Huh? Yes, I know a friend of mine's manager. Okay, yeah. I thought we were gonna be friends with you. You gave us a chicken. All right, gambling. All right, the, I'm gonna send the chicken here. That chicken's gonna be your manager. You're gonna answer to the chicken you wanted to fry and kill. That's it. The chicken's your boss. The chicken's your boss. I can't believe that the chicken is the manager. Security at least or advisor fucking manager chicken. What the f <laughs> No, I don't want to do a cycle. I can't tell you how much you I had a gun. Huh? I'm grateful and honored to hear that sir. I'll give him my all. <laughs> Good, good, that's the spirit. I'm glad we decided to hire this new staff this year. This one qualifies you applied. Hiring new staff, huh? We're still short staffed. Among other things, post a job, we need my help. Let's do it. Help wanted. Oh, shit. Oh dear, is it the chicken? Are you looking at the chicken? Has the chicken made a mess? Is the chicken here? Is the chicken now a recurring character? Is the chicken gonna stand next to the radio and welcome us every time? Bar -bar, welcome home! Is it, we gonna write to Dulce about the fucking chicken? What's the matter? It's the chicken. The chicken shat on the floor. Oh, Mr. President, I was thinking about our workload. We're really short on staff. We need a couple more chickens. I was thinking this. <laughs> We need to diversify, get get some ducks. We can imagine more properties these days, but our hiring hasn't kept pace. So I had to ask you if it's alright for me to try and recruit some new employees. There's a farm outside of the city. So we try what's the job opening? Yes, at this rate we're going to be overwhelmed by the workload soon. We should take steps to avoid that now. Right, I was just thinking it might be good to get some new blood in here too. <laughs> Yay, that settles it. I'll start uh, recruiting. Great, go ahead, make us look good. Definitely. Oh, I'm gonna have to let you handle applicant interviews, Mr. Ready? President. 
Now we have an interview mini, mini game. Interview is me, I can't do that. What are you talking about? You're the head of this company. You're definitely on the hook for this. Uh, okay, you're doing it, Mr. President. I'll let you know when you get any incoming applicants, so please be ready. Got it. All right, do you have anyone? Cluck, cluck, cluck. It financial savvy. All right, Nugget is better than you at financial savvy. Better than you. Better, no, same as you, underwear seller. Same as you, Leisure King. Better than you, Takeshi Tyra. You, like, no. I can't believe it. And when the chicken's tired, he's at the same level as you guys when you're tired. Not as good as you though, you're better. A tired chicken is the same as you tired. Can we send the chicken to, 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 to school to get better? Alright, gambling area. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Staff, I'm replacing you with a chicken. All right, fucking, yo, bowling alley, you're actually run by the chicken now. There you go. Are profits up? Profits are up. Financial savvy. There we go. Chicken advisor. Profits are up, but chicken sales are down. All right. I can't believe it. What does he do with his paycheck? He probably sends it back home. <laughs> to his chicken family. Hoping the one day join him in the city. <laughs> He's gonna have a little chicken condo. His whole chicken family's gonna move in. Someone's gonna knock on their door one day and be like, yo, can you keep it down in there with your pets and chickens? And the chicken's gonna answer the door in a bathrobe and go, bah, bah, and it's gonna be, oh, sorry, sir, I didn't realize you were the chicken. Have a good night. Does the chicken get a spin off mini game? Wait, he, he, he embezzles too much money from, from Kira's business and he's nugget on the run? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a quest here now. Are we doing an interview? Oh, Mr. President, about that job voting, we have a, the, uh, an applicant. Great. What do you want to do? Do you want to do the interview now? Yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, what is it? Okay, sure, I'll interview the candidate. Great, let's go in, let's get going then. Oh, but wait a minute. You're not going to conduct an interview looking like that, are you? Sure I am, so? Well, you don't really look like the president of a company. We we need to make you look more dignified. And sagish... I can never remember what this word means. Is it like sage-like wise? Sagacious, having keen yeah, it's a keen mental d discernment and good judgment. Sagacious. Sagacious. There we go. Sagacious. I can never remember that word. Queer ass. Okay, let's go. Saggy, what? What does that have to do with anything? No, not saggy. You know, sagacious, like intelligent. Oh, I know. Oh, we have glasses. <laughs> See? They look good on you. Those glasses you left lying around really suit you. 
to make you look both dignified and intelligent. Didn't expect to be wearing these again, actually. Looks like we're all set. I'll call in the applicant. The applicant will soon be here. Please evaluate him to see if he's really motivated to, to work with us. Is it a rooster? Test for motivation. Right. Yes. Apparently, there are applicants out there who only attend interviews to get cab fare from companies. Are people really sinking the scams that low? Don't worry. I can spot people like that a mile away. Where does that confidence come from? Here he comes. All right. He's pecking on the door. Why does he come in? He can't. He can't reach the handle. You have to tell him to come in. No applicant would enter without permission. I don't get it. Please, just tell him to come in. He'll hurt his knuckles if he has to keep knocking. You mean his beak? Come in. Excuse me. Oh, it's not a chicken. I don't give a shit. No. 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 Birds only here. I'm Haruhiko Eugen. I'm honored to meet you. Yes, likewise. Sit down. Doesn't he see the chair? Why doesn't he sit down? You have to invite him to sit. No job seeker would take a seat without being asked. What the hell is that about? Is this supposed to be funny? He's not fooling around. Job seekers are dead serious. Please, let him sit. No. Can you please have a seat? Thank you. I could hear you both, by the way. Damn, I bet that chair doesn't squeak. This is already exhausting. Is this going on, going to go on much longer? It hasn't even begun. At least ask him a few questions. You need to determine if he would be a good fit for us. A question? Hmm. Alright. Why did you apply with us? What kind of women do you like? What color is your underwear? What color is your underwear? Eh? My underwear color? Bold of you think I'm wearing any. Does that have anything to do with this job? No, not especially. Isn't that why you ask in interviews? I don't even want to know where you got that idea. Besides, what are you going to do with that information? Well, nothing I can think of at the moment. I'm so sorry. The last question never happened. Uh, yes, of course. That would be for the best. Do you have any experience feeding chickens? A question. Hmm. Why did you apply with us? Why did you pull high with Hi. us? Real estate is a business that serves one of the three basic human needs, food, clothing, and shelter. It's one that is closely tied to people's daily lives. Someone working in such an industry would have to be trustworthy. What about beds? They would also bear great responsibility, but that is where I see worthwhile challenge. I have also heard that your firm isn't afraid to put new recruits in charge of accounts right away. I felt this job would give me a great opportunity to really grow. <laughs> wow, that little speech rolled right off his tongue. You must have practiced it a lot. Yeah, a bit, a bit sus to me. A bit sus. What's your opinion on the answering to a chicken? Huh? I'm impressed, Mr. President. You actually, you can actually run an interview. Please keep going and see if you, you, you son is the sort of person who would work out for us. Got it. What should I ask him next? What are your strengths? Have you experienced failure? Are you willing to do anything? Eugen, if you were to join my company, would you be willing to do anything? Eh. Yes. I eagerly await being able to exceed your expectations. Would you kill a man? Would you kill a chicken? So anything. Hi. Yes, absolutely. I came into this interview to prove just how dedicated I can be. Alright, one of your fingers, please. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? There was no hesitation at all. He sounds primed and ready to go. We'll see about that. We should ask him next. Have you experienced failure? Have you ever experienced failure? Uh... Failure? Uh, never in my life. Never taken an L. No, no, not especially. I feel like I can deal with just about anything. Life throws my way, so no. I can't say I know what it's like to fail. Well, you're about to. Mm. He must be especially blessed. Or maybe he's just lucky. Who knows? What should I ask him next? What are your strengths? What are your strengths? Hi. Well, I'm fluent in English. I lived in the States as a child, so I can manage most business dealings in English. <laughs> also, I was the head of our university's tennis club. I often organize events and socials, and I think it made me a good planner and organizer. Did, did your university tennis club always win all their matches? Oh, they lost one? Oh, fucking liar. He does appear to be very communicative. He seems like he has many friends, too. Yeah, maybe. Thoughts on chickens. I think that's about all the questions we have for now for you. Eugen san do you have any questions for us? Uh... Questions? Yeah, there were some feathers in the hall. Uh, <laughs> no, nothing in particular. Oh, that's a bad sign. Uh... No. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, actually, I heard that your firm makes hiring decisions on the spot. Is that true? Hi. No. Yes, you heard right. The president and I would like to confer about it, so you can just give us a moment. What should we do? Should we hire him? Nani? He can hear us. Huh? We decide now? Right Hi. now? Yes. The longer it takes, the more it will cost. We can't afford to sit on our decisions. Mm -hmm. How tight-fisted can you be? Eugen san was eloquent in, dis eloquent in describing why he wanted to join us. He can also speak English, plan events, and work well with people, but he didn't tell us what color his underwear is. What shall we do? You're hired. So then. You're hired. Did it, did it, did it. Really? 
Thank you very much, Namli. Congratulations. Please take this for your cab fare. <laughs> and then he never showed. He he he. Thank you. Wonder what you'll be paying me. Pardon? Yeah. Uh, nothing. I just got lost on my own thoughts. It's really nothing. It's, I know it's short notice, but we'd like to have you start tomorrow, if you can. Does that Hi. work for you? Certainly. I'll see you bright and early. We're counting on you. You won't be disappointed. I, I think I should have told this guy to fuck off. I have a bad feeling from this guy. The next day, he never shows. He just wanted the cab fare. Mm. Unison is awfully... Oh, man, we were right! We were right! Uh. Yeah, maybe he forgot. I thought it was to be like tutorial, like you always get a good one your first time. Oh, shit! No wonder he didn't answer the underwear question. I'll call him at home. Yeah, thanks. I hope he didn't get into an accident or anything. He he was dead. He eugen has been dead for years. He's a ghost. Oh, what? Oh, no? What's wrong? It says the number you have called is not in service. Nanny? What? Nanny? Oh, dear. We were totally conned. He must have come in just to get cab fare out of us. Mm. You've got to be kidding. Damn, that's a million yen down the drain. He was able to tell us why he wanted to join us with such eloquence. I guess we weren't very good judges of his character. Well, I'll have to start over. Oh, the sad music! <laughs> that cure is like, damn, I can't believe I fell for this. Damn. I, I'm gonna write a postcard to Dulce about this. Uh. I'm so betrayed. Damn. It's not that we don't have a worker, it's that I trusted him. Hi. Now I'll never find out what color his underwear is. Sure thing. That guy completely fooled me. I can't make the same mistake again. <laughs> Is it done? In trouble? What do you mean in trouble? Hold on a minute. That's not even the one being run by a chicken. Play out collection stopped until you resolve problems in the area. Ch ch why? Chicken's doing fine, but you? What do you mean in trouble? What's what's going on? Shakedown's gonna be so happy when he runs into next time. You guys tired? Yeah, you're tired. Oh no, you're not tired yet. You're at one and four. Okay, so you, you guys can go one more and then we'll switch you. Okay. Damn, the chicken's doing fine. Alright. Okay, which one which one's having trouble? This one over here? It's on the map. No. In trouble. Yeah, down there. Okay. Pleasure King area. All right. Fine, let's hear it. Now you're talking. That's what makes you an ace producer. Whatever, so what's the problem? It's the superstar himself, actually. Miracle's refusing to perform until his demands are met. We're at a standstill. What, is the guy being a diva? Not really, no. He's just really insists on doing the music video exactly right, and he won't compromise. 
What is this music video about? <sighs> to be honest, I don't really get it. Apparently, it involves a miracle dancing his way through hordes of attacking zombies. Nani. Oh man, that's the original of zombies? Yes, but if they were really to, were to really attack, he could get hurt. So we told the extras to take it easy when they swarm him. But Miracle got wind of that and blew his stack. He says the zombies have to attack him like they mean it. Otherwise, the action wouldn't feel real. Alright, so we have to fight zombies? So he's refusing to do it. That's, there's a lot, a lot I don't get here. Like, how can the zombie video feel real to begin with? <sighs> Who knows? The, these westerners, man, they're so crazy. Yeah, they put chickens in charge, but this is going to be a surefire hit if it happens. Well, I understand the problem now. What I don't get is how I fit into the picture. You're the man to keep Miracle safe from the zombies, baby. Uh, you want me to protect him? Yeah, for the sake of realism, the zombies are going to go all out to attack Miracle. Try to eat him and everything, but we don't. We can't let the pop star prince get hurt. That's where you come in, my old friend. Mm, sounds like a strange gig, but it seems simple enough. Of course, of course. Is it just perfect, uh, perfect, the perfect job for you? Let's go, let's go get the deets from the music video's director. Sure. Dun, dun. I finally got the man for the oh. job. Oh, it's you, Poppy. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Introducing the powerhouse producer with the biggest brains, bronze, and balls in the modern mass media. They're made of steel. Here's Kiru Chan. I'm Kazuma Kiru. Good to meet you. Oh. I have a hard goal. Please don't break it. Oh, so you're the famous Mr. Kiru. I was told you have an extra extraordinary cool aura. I see it's true. <laughs> Spielberg? I'm Mr. Sp Spining, the director. Welcome to our team, Mr. Kiru. Can't wait for Spielberg to join us as a manager and be worse than the chicken. Oh, Mr. Kiru, I should also introduce you to my PA, Lewis. He's on the team too. Oh, hey, Lewis. You look mean as shit. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Lewis. Don't fuck with me. Welcome uh. to the family. Good to meet you. So, Kiru-chan, what is this hair? Is this blowing your mind or what? I'm sure you already know, but just in case, this man here is none other than the director of the massive worldwide smash hit movie, Indian Jeans. India what? You're breaking my balls here, Kiru-chan. Are you a hermit? How do you not know this man's films? Sorry. Look at this guy's hair. N64 hair. Mr. Kiru, perhaps you're more of a sci-fi guy. Uh -huh. Oh, right, Kiru-chan, even you have to know about this one. A.T., you know, the one about the boy who rides with the, an alien on a new cycle over uh, the moon. Uh, sure, I guess I might have heard about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, I knew even you had to know. Mr. Spining is a, an amazing director, right, Kiru-chan? Right? So um, yeah, amazing, <laughs> yeah. Haha, <laughs> it's no big deal, honestly, though it was number one at the box office worldwide. Oh. Sure was. So, Mr. Spining... With you at the helm of this music video, are we anticipating another world so hit? Absolutely. The fans all over the world are waiting for this one. Jurassic Park ain't even out yet. I don't want to waste any more time, but I need to confirm one thing before I describe your mission. Is that okay? Uh. Sure. We're here to film Miracle Johnson's latest music video. Do you understand what that means? It means we're filming Miracle Johnson's music video. The whole world's going to be watching? Clever boy. Uh. That's only half of it. The full answer is that this has to be the most exciting music video ever made. Failure to achieve that is unacceptable. Is it? Is that still the most famous music video ever made? Thriller? It is, isn't it? I think it is. What's what's more famous than Thriller in the music video world? Oh. No fails here, yeah. Wow. That's heavy. You have to hand it to Hollywood. They work on a scale we can only dream of. Gangnam Style? I don't think Gangnam Style's video is is more famous than than uh, Thriller. Desposito, the, the song or the music video? Did people go on YouTube to watch the music video? I thought they just went on there just to listen to the song. Uh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's oh. huge. Good, I'm glad you get the hey. picture. Hey guys, Mr. Johnson is ready to enter the room. Oh good, sounds like Miracle Johnson's about to join us. Let me introduce you to him. Hey, come on in, Miracle. Oh. Hmm. Oh, nice! Hey, Miracle, looking rad as ever. You know it, Spining. I was born cool. Damn the music! Born to do it, yeah! Hey, man. Hey, man. You my partner? No. Kiru Chan, what are you saying? Of course you're partners. Oh, that's right. 
Anyone anyone here ever play the, the weird Michael Jackson beat em up game on, on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive? I can't remember which one it was. And you play that one and you have to th you have to like go through like houses and save kids and you could throw your hat and then you, you would turn into like this weird machine and fly through and shoot people. That game fucking sucked. Miracle, that's Mr. Kira, your partner today. He's a little okay, shy. Okay. okay, okay. No problem. I heard about Japanese people being shy, so that's just human nature. It's all good. I'm Kiru. Glad to meet you. <coughs> Woo! And I'm Miracle Johnson. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, likewise. Hey, man. Hey, man. Have they told you about the mission, Mr. Kiru? Yeah. A little, but I don't get it. I could use some more info. Okay, since you're all here, I'll explain what's happening. The setting is here. Kamurocho, one of Asia's, no, one of the world's premier entertainment districts that I own half of. Zombie hordes suddenly emerge and attack Miracle on the street. Miracle evades the attacking swarm and dances his way through the land of the rising sun, the very picture of cool. It's a tableau truly befitting our pop star prince. It's gonna be funky. Oh man! Yeah. Whoa. Hey, so why zombies? I still don't get what's going on. Apparently they're really into that sort of thing overseas. I mean, if a big Hollywood director is behind it, it's gotta be a new trend, I think. I think this city's fabulous. It always glitters and shines. I love it here. Kamer Ocho is like an amusement park. That is... Look at the face! It's terrifying! What the fuck? Yes, and once the stage is set for a close encounter of the undead kind, Miracle will spin and weave his magic dance. Hey. Oh, it's getting closer! Mr. Kiryu, this is where you come in. Your job is to escort Miracle and protect him from the walking dead. I told the extras playing zombies to attack me like they mean it. If the danger is not real, the thrill isn't either. I tried to stop him. If the pop star prince were injured on set, the whole world would be screaming for my head on a, on a stake. That'd be what? really bad. Who's bad? No. no. Spining. I told you how serious I am about this. Compromise my artistry would be a betrayal to all of my loyal fans. <sighs> ah, Miracle. Oh. You're the ultimate entertainer! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Yeah, oh stop, spining. That's nothing the whole world doesn't already know. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, Kirichan. I feel responsible. Yeah. No, it's alright, I know it's not your fault. So, there you have it, surely you understand now. What part of that was understandable? Whatever, let's get, just start filming. Yeah, Kiru, I like that fire, you're gonna rock my world with passion like uh. that. That's enough. <laughs> That's the spirit, Kiru. Hold on to that anger and let's roll him. Oh! We're going in. Woo! Miracle and Kiru, explain what you t what you two have done. Wait, are we in Majima's area? A miracle, you unveil your new miracle walk dance, shimmy and shake your way to the end of the Nah, we're not. It just kind of looked like it over there. I thought that was the bridge. I know you know this, but she said keep, keep it elegant. Okay. No problem, this dance is going to bedazzle the world. So it is and right next to him in, in the footage is me in beast mode going, I'm going to fucking kill you all. Get away from the zombies and spying is there. Oh, this gives me an idea for a movie about dinosaurs. In a park, meet Mr. Kiryu. Your job is to protect Miracle from the zombies by whatever means uh. necessary. Yeah, got it. Haha, <laughs> good Kiryu. You're the man. Samurai. Who's bad? Can we get on with this? Escort Miracle Johnson while he dances his way up the t 10 catchy street using his new Miracle Walk technique. Along the way, zombies will appear and attack Miracle. You will fail if Miracle takes enough hits to bring his energy to zero. You succeed if Miracle reaches the Akushimura Mart restaurant at the end of the 10 catchy street before he runs out of energy. Alright. Oh no, it's not going well. Oh man, they're dead. All right, I'm here. Wait, did he just hit one? Is 
This is going so well. Why is he just taking damage? Oh, is he running out of energy doing the moonwalk? Oh, that sucks. Maybe it's not going down. Now this is Dark Souls. Oh, the, the bar is kind of trailing a little bit, that's why. Okay. Soul starts now. Perfect. You didn't get in the way of any shot, Kiryu. Oh. Good job. Excellent. Amazing. Magnificent. <laughs> that was a stupendous mi miracle. That was a stupendous miracle. I can tell you right now that I just shot the greatest music video of all time until Despacito comes out. This will be the stuff of legends. <laughs> Spining, please. I only did what was expected of me. The real honor goes to Ooh. Kiryu. He was cooler than ice. Too cool. So does Nick. You are so right, Kiryu. If it weren't for you, this masterpiece would have never happened. We're now both going to join you as managers for your Camarocho real estate company. From the bottom of my heart, I thank yeah. you. No need for thanks. Beating down hostile guys seems like part of my daily routine. Hey, man. Hey, man. hey Kiryu. How would you like to be my, my personal bodyguard? You would be like another part of me, man. Kira, baby. <laughs> this is it, man. The golden ticket. The pop star prince is recruiting you. <laughs> baby, seeing a superstar might be a decent life, but the world is too big a stage for me. Camarocho is plenty big. Oh. Uh, how disappointing, but I guess I can't de deprive Camarocho of its star. That's the way you make me feel, Kira. <laughs> oh. Kira-chan. Very well. I will go along with this. I'll leave you with a gift then. Hey, hey zombies. Come on. Microfly. Black or white, just tell me. A large black box and a small white box. Black or white, which should I pick? Oh. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't I should get both of them because it doesn't matter if you're black or white, right? It doesn't matter. I should get both. Black. Okay. Black it is. My gift to you. These are you sure? Aren't these expensive? You got silent shoes. Dummy space down in the box. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you think money matters to a superstar like me? I guess not. I accept these gratefully. Thank man. you. Thank you, Kiru. Oh man, do you go to the cat fight? You're going to be the camera true king, I can tell. After all, I'm the pop star prince of the world. <laughs> Woo! Hey! Hey. <laughs> well, that's terrifying. I still don't really get your American groove, but it was a thrilling experience all the same. Looks into the camera. At least I'll never have to fight zombies again. Yeah, until the spinoff. And if I'm ever back in Japan, I'm gonna look you up, Kiru. You wouldn't mind, uh, would you? I'll hey. think about it. Hey, Miracle, we, we, we better be going. The world needs to see what we've got waiting for them. Looks like my time is up. I'll see you around, Kiru. I've got a feeling this isn't the last uh. time. Sure, I look forward to it.
Miracle Johnson thinks we'll meet again. Heh, <laughs> maybe we will. What's in the other box? What's in the box? Alright, first chicken payout. Crappy t-shirt. Wow, that sucks. Hey, do you have anyone interviewing? Oh, hold on, let's do the payout first. Wow, this is so much money. Oh, we don't have anyone else. All right, you're, you're just on duty forever, Li Lung, sorry. What if I just remove and then put you back on? All right, there we go. That costs money. All right. Rank up today. Yeah, rank S. We need new advisors. Oh no, we didn't upgrade it! Oh, we can do that. Alright, there we go. Alright, first chicken money. Two million? Wow! Chick chicken did better than the other areas. This area only did like 500,000. This area didn't even finish. Chicken, chicken on the case. God damn. Holy shit, this cock is ready to rock. What the fuck? It's because you got an extra billion? No, it's because of the chicken. Oh, but we have an applicant. All right, this time the applicant is a girl. I read her application and she has neat handwriting and her photo is pretty cute. I see, so she's cute. Mr. President, you better not hire her based on her looks. Of course not. What do you want to do? Do you interview now? Yeah, interviewing them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, interview. Yeah, let's do this. All right. You know, it's kind of pain to put glass on every time I do an interview. Can I just interview like this? Oh, heavens no, it's important for you to look intelligent. If you say so. The troll of the game is that none of them are worth it. Every single person that comes in is a bust. They're all, they're all doing it to fucking get free cab fare. Every single person you hire never shows up. Are you looking good in these? No, wait a minute. Are you just making me wear these because you like them? Well, uh, well, actually... Oh, here's the next candidate. It's time for the interview. Guess you're off the hook for now. Come in, excuse me. I'm Sakuroko Jogasaki. Jo Pleased to meet you. Uh, yes, likewise. Please sit down. Oh, right. Please have a seat. Thank you. She seems so ladylike. Yes, apparently her family runs a traditional Japanese inn. Maybe she helps out there. Makes sense. I can see her wearing a kimono. Well, we better ask her for some questions. We need to figure out if she'll, she'll be a good fit here. Right, so, Jogasaki-san, why don't you take a minute to tell us about yourself? Yes, certainly. What color is your underwear? I'm impressed. This sounds like a real interview. Huh, I picked, a picked up a book on interview techniques. When? No, you didn't. You're lying. You s you're studying on your own? I'm so glad you're finally taking your presidential responsibility seriously. <laughs> well, naturally. Um, may I begin? Oh, right. Sorry, please do. 
Okay, my name is Sakuro Jogasaki. I majored in business administration. My biggest strength is that I have an actual work I have actual work experience. My family runs a traditional inn, so I worked with guests daily while growing up. I could also afford the taxi right here. When we were short staffed, I was even put in charge of the kitchen. I learned how to cook from pros. If I ever get the chance, I would love to bring you a traditional meal. I'm confident about my eagerness and fitness. Uh, it means I don't give up easily. I very much hope you will give me the opportunity to prove myself to you. Also, I often get asked at interviews, so I will save you the bother of doing so. I'm wearing plain white under- <laughs> White is really boring. You're not hired. Wow, that was solid. She even told us to color her underwear to shut down that down quick. She's amazing. Yeah, now I don't have to ask her. <laughs> Let's talk about what she just told us. Was there anything you want to get more details on? What kind of underwear is it? What should we talk about in more detail? What? Why do you feel confident in your fitness? You say you're coming in fitness. Why is that? I belong to a dance club at my university. Dancing is more physically taxing than may appear. So I think that's helped me build my endurance. I see. I imagine you do traditional dancing for your guests. Or maybe you can do that once you take over the end. Hmm. So she did. A, she's done a lot of interviews then. Hmm. Does she do this often for cab fare? Hmm. Uh, this is an epidemic, perhaps. But for now, I'd rather find fulfilling work at your firm than think about the, the family inn. Hmm. So she dances. I bet she looked great doing, doing a traditional dance in a kimono. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. What should we talk about in more detail? What can you cook? You said you're a good cook. What are your signature dishes? Hi. Let's see. Miso soup. I'm quite good at meatloaf, omelets with rice filling. Uh, what else? What kind of sauce do you put on your on your rice? And omelets. Oh, I make a pretty great white sauce. I often use it for preparing gr gra gra gratins and European pasta dishes. <laughs> oh, that's impressive. You can make a white sauce from scratch. And you're so worldly. That's impressive. It's easy to overcook white sauce, you know. <laughs> Until I got the hang of it, I found it a challenge, too. Assuming you get the job. Assuming I get the job, I'd be happy to bring some in for you to try. Oh, really? Yes, Boy. please. Hey, this is a job interview, not a restaurant. What should we talk about in more detail? Do you need cab fare? Why, are you talking to, why aren't you taking the family in? That's a, good, that's a good question. Why aren't you taking the family in? Well, I do find the job rewarding in its own way, and I love inter interacting with the guests. However, it's all of... It's also a very small, a clo it's also a very small closed world. The entire day revolves around the inn and nothing else. Even if I were to eventually inherit the inn, I would like to broaden my horizons out here in the real world before I settle into that role. Wow, she's got it all figured out. She does. A little too figured out. That's all the questions we have, I think. jogosaki san do you have any questions regarding our firm? Hi. Yes. Not to be too forward, but is there a large inequitial gap between men and women here? Yeah. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> The chicken is our best one. Uh, thank you. It's a great relief to hear that. Talk, like, what about, you know, chickens to people? Times are changing, you know? I was hoping I could find a job that would let me work just as hard as any man. <laughs> we have to hire Jogosaki Chan, Mr. President. She's a keeper mm. for sure. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. What does her think about? This girl, a girl is courteous and eager to work is a rare find in this day and age, and she was very forward about her color of underwear. Mm. She seems that way, sure, but there's something not quite right about it. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, like white underwear. Like, you know, this is the worst color for it. Is there something wrong? Yeah, something's off. Something she said doesn't jive. You mean she's lying about something? Yeah, I can't quote my finger on it, though. Hmm. What did she say that struck you as inconsistent? Ask for a summary again. Why she isn't taking the family in again. Ask what she can cook. Ask, point out the... What? I wasn't paying attention. Shit. Uh... Can, wait, is this just a re- or like she's doing the same thing again? Okay, what I wish she can cook again. Sorry, just as I just want to ask you again. You said you're a good cook. Hey. You're dishes. I'm good to meat, low comments with rice filling. Uh, what else? Oh, I make pretty good white sauce. I'll have to use it for preparing your European <laughs> pasta dishes. That's impressive. Okay. Boy. Traditional meal and her other things are are are, are European, <laughs> but maybe she just she can just do both. Oh, shit, how do I say it? Summary and not taking over the end. Summary and signature dishes. Summary and signature dishes, right? It's gotta be that one. 
Because that was in the summary. It's her summary and her signature dishes. Those two statements don't add up. You're you're doing this just for cab fare. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, now I think about it, maybe you're onto something. Jogosaki, there's something inconsistent in your story. Objection! Inconsistent? What might it be? Allow me to cut through those words. You said your family was a traditional Japanese inn and that you helped out there on a daily basis. Yes, that's correct. You said you were put in charge of the kitchen, which made you a better cook. Mm -hmm. Is that, is that a problem? If I'm working in a kitchen, it's only natural that I should be a better cook. How could that be inconsistent? Marina, let's say you were to stay in a traditional inn. What kind of dinner would you expect? <laughs> well, if it's a traditional inn, it would be, it would of course be Japanese cuisine like sash sashimi and nimono. Oh, and in winter, a hot pot would be wonderful. Uh. Right, and what's jo Josaki good at cooking? Meatloaf, omelet with rice, white sauce for gratin, and oh, I don't know about you, but in no traditional inn I know of would serve those dishes. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Shit, you caught me. I'm just doing this for 400 yen cab fare. Have anything you say for, you say for yourself, Jogasaki-san. <laughs> oh, waffles. I learned that in my spare time. I'm a very, very, very varied cook. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, you're hired. Wow, so you're really gonna nitpick me on something that minor, huh? I bet you're a real hit with the ladies. Jogasaki-san? Yes, you're right. I made it all up. Grew up in a traditional inn. Are you kidding? I came up with that, came up with that to spruce up my resume. So what? But, but incidentally, I also lied about being a good cook. I got too carried away with the details, I guess. Was everything a lie? Even the part about doing traditional dance at school? You're the, you're the ones who assumed it was traditional dance. I really do belong to a dance club at school. And my underwear isn't even white. But my kind of dance is hip hop. Oh my god, how could you lie about that? I hope there's another close up with a character right now going, <gasps> damn, hip, hip and hop? I'm so done here. Hurry up with my cab fare. I'll, I'll settle for 20,000 yen. Really? Okay, wait, we don't pay scammers. Huh? huh? That's not what you promised. The posting said I get cab fare for taking an interview. Why else would I bother coming? How, how expensive is this cab? You should be ashamed, you liars. Seems to me you're a liar too. It's okay for you to lie, but not huh? us. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You don't make a damn bit of sense. Uh? You just don't want to face the facts. Get over yourself, princess. I bet you got everything you wanted your whole life. Huh? Well, wise up. Out in the real world, nobody is going to pay for your for you, pay you for your self-centered lying through your uh. teeth. The real world is a jungle, not a playground, and nobody gets anything they don't earn. So get out of my sight. Ah, says the man who was just given this real estate company. <laughs> Sheesh! I hope I never get on your bad side, Mr. President. Uh, yeah, sorry for shouting. Are we gonna hire anyone? It's okay, but wow, that was impressive how you caught that inconsistency in her story. I didn't realize until you pointed it out. Yeah, it was kind of impressive, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm beginning to find new respect for you, President Kiru. Oh, but I guess we have to start over with recruiting. Uh. Yeah, thanks for taking care of that. Of course, sir. Your ace secretary has your back. Oh, ace secretary. Nice. Okay, are we done? are we done getting money during that? We are! Holy crap, we're just raking it in! Damn, we can we can buy the empty lot soon. Oh, chicken's almost done! What if we just walk around for a second? Will the chicken be done? Let's just run around like a um uh well not not a headless chicken, but you know, just a chicken. Do 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 Alright, are we done? Yeah, good job, chicken. What's is was it Freakazoid or Animaniacs that had the uh, that had the thing where the big chicken and only some people could tell he was a chicken. You wear a disguise to look like human guys, but you're not a man, you're chicken boo. Was that was that enemy yeah, ass or freakazoid? Animaniacs. Animax is coming back, did you guys see that? On Hulu or something? <laughs> Free advisor and angel bar if you order best whiskey. No sub story too. Oh, nice, cool. Let's go get it. This was the stream, everybody. This was.
coming back in pog form. It's Alf. Remember Alf? He's back in pog form. Damn, the, the Simpsons references that are just stuck in my brain. Okay, Ruby play, even though I don't need them anymore. Was this more fun than the main quest stream too? This was the main quest! No. This was more funny. I, I had a good time here. Wasn't it worth it for the chicken? Are people actually mad that this is what we did all day? We got a chicken! Managerial chicken! to eat is this is this an eating place or it's an eating place all right let's eat all of it we have that perk now all right i want i want everything let me in let me in eric andre let me in all right here i want everything that you have everything oh you're the beef bowl place i've already eaten everything at the beef bowl place can i buy your beef bowl place Thank you. You're well. Wait, is it any of you want a job? Okay, I'm gonna go free the the district that's in trouble, and then I will do one thing that chat wants me to do, and that will be the end of the stream. So chat, decide if you want the like, telephone Ooh, club or Ooh. it's gonna be telephone club, right? Like, what do you want? Where? Uh, first of all, I don't know where the telephone club is, so you're gonna have to tell me where it is. All right, telephone club is winning by a landslide. Okay, I need to know where the telephone club is. The fuck is anime shit is that? Oh, we're fighting. Yeah, he's here. Oh man, if, imagine if the chicken was security and the chicken would show up. Holy shit! Where's that policeman that kept, kept, like, stopping us around here? Is he gone? Is he done? Are we done with his quest? What's in here? Oh, that's it! It's the Telltale Boys Club. Oh, oh, I'm sorry that I hit you here. I'm gonna break a bike over your fucking head now. That was dumb for you. Bad move made in this alley, boys. Get fucked. Who are you? Oh, no. Got any telephone cards to show me? Oh, you're the telephone. Okay, we got the. I got this one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool to see the full three card set. Really appreciate this. Here, take this. You got five million yen. Oh man. All right, here. I'll show you another one. <laughs> five million yen. Okay. What if I show you one you've already seen? Why doesn't it take it away after we're done? Um. Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh man, people are pissed. I don't get it. In, in, in Moncton, you can just run at anybody. No one does this shit. Even with your car. It's called Road Roulette. Whenever you just walk on the street, see what happens. Other Road Roulette is, does this person who's driving have a license? Big fan of my city, by the way. Love my city. Shout out to the new stadium, bringing a lot of jobs into the city. Hey, what's going on over here? Dude, I- yeah, okay. The hooligans making problems in this area. Should we deal with that? Yeah, let's, let's, let's fight. Opponent strength medium. Yeah, we're fine. Huh, look who decided to show up. So you're the ones causing trouble around here? I'm gonna need you to stop. That's cute. You think we'll drop everything and, and stop just because you said so? Pleasure King said to bring you down the, down the house on anyone in our way, and, and you are. Okay, here we go. Get fucked. Get fucked. Get, get out of my area. Stop hassling my girls. Spread like peanut butter. Problem the has been solved. Yeah, it's been solved. Yeah, sweet. Let's just solve this problem. Now I have to go. We profits come back on. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, stop hassling my girls. Remember that King of the Hill episode where Hank Hill accidentally becomes a pimp? I didn't like King of the Hill when I was a kid. I think I would like it now. But that episode made me cry laughing. When, came, when he accidentally became a, a pimp. Just, oh my god, it was oh. so funny. It was so funny. <laughs> All right, we're going to telephone thing. <laughs> well, Bobby, welcome to Telltale Boys Club. Brighten your day chatting with fun young ladies. So this is a telephone club. All right. Huh? Ah, this is your first visit to our establishment. Uh. Yeah, first time. Eh? What do we do? Oh, what a deep manly voice you've got. Something wrong with that? No, no, no. On the on, on the contrary, in telephone clubs, it's the voice that matters. I can tell you, you're going to be popular with the ladies. Wait, are, we, are, are they paying to call us? If you say so, I don't know how this works. <laughs> Haha, of course. Please allow me to explain. That what the fuck? What the fuck? This is what the fuck? This is a telephone dating simulator mini game. The fuck? But in the mechanics of a shooting game, what? Aim well to have your character say all the right things, keep the conversation going, and to convince the girl on the other end to go on a date with you. And then do we? And then do we? Do it. Waiting for a call. Girls will call you. And it's a quick time to answer the call. Girls will call in, into the telephone club every now and then. When the phone rings, an input icon will appear on the screen. Press the correct button quickly. Pick up the phone. If you do not answer in time, you'll just splurge out spaghetti and knock the phone off of the fucking thing, unconnecting it in the process because you're an idiot the girl will hang up and you'll have to wait again while the clock keeps ticking make sure she doesn't hear your anime ringtone that Majima didn't have to do this because he's probably really suave and sophisticated whereas Kira but how long does this go once you pick up the phone the conversation begins to chat a girl up successfully you need to choose the correct dialogue options without being dis too distracted by fantasies try not to offend or creep the girl out this will be no problem for Kiru Different dialogue lines will float around the screen. Once you find your desired response, charge your telephone beam by rotate- <laughs> Rotating what? And aim with left. And then release R to shoot your line. Targeting dial. Rotate. Shoot the right dialogue lines to build up the mood. But if you hit the wrong words, your character might say something that could upset the girl. Upset a girl too many times and she may hang up on you. If you want to hang up, hold LB. This can be useful if you get a bad feeling about the girl based on how she sounds. Not every caller will be your type, and her voice can be a clue. What? There are some personal questions you can only ask when the conversation is going well. And the girl is in a good mood. The vital question roulette might pop up when this happens. This is the real way to hire people to your real estate. This is the real interview. The first roulette enables you to ask about the girl's body and the second about her face. With this info, your idea of what the girl looks like will grow more detailed. The third roulette will ask, let you ask the girl on a date. Succeed in picking the right line and she will agree to meet with you. The, and then do we? The choices will be spinning quickly, but the right one will be highlighted. Press the A button when it's at the front. Okay. 
that's it in a nut sack, a shell. Got, got, uh, girls call in. I pick up the yeah. phone. Exactly. Some of the ladies call in with romance in mind, while others may want to have a nice chat or just see what we're about. It's all good as long as people can connect with others who are looking for the same thing. In other words, I need to figure out what the other person is looking for. Couldn't have put it better myself. A clever man like you must be in high demand or the fairest sex. Nope. Hmm. Never seen a boob. Yeah. You tell it to every customer that gets hopes up, don't you? <laughs> oh, no, I assure you. And, well, there's no denying you've got an amazing voice, too. You just look peak peak male performance here, Kiru. Well, anyhow, yes, welcome to Telltale Boys Club. Brighten your day by ch brighten up your day chatting with young, fun young ladies. We have several deals tailored to your needs. So, short course, long course. About short. Let's do short course first. Okay. I'll show you your booth. Fingers crossed. You meet the, someone special. Oh, we will. Kiru, let's do this. Dun 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 we need a lot of time to, to get to know this girl. Now, if I was a good streamer, I would say, we'll do this tomorrow. I'll be waiting. All right, here we go. Entertaining ourselves. Medical. All right, five minutes. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Mush mush. Kiru the hoe here. Hey there. Sold. How about something more personal? Do you walk? Do <laughs> what do you mean? Do you walk? What are you talking about? <laughs> 12? 20. Oh no, we missed! <laughs> Do you <laughs> You must have lots of energy. So then Tell her what I think about it. Easy woman, take it easy. <laughs> easy woman. <laughs> you must be an easy woman. What's your problem? Oh no, she didn't like that. What sport's your favorite? Oh, we did it. Baseball. Baseball is my thing. I like playing with balls. Whoa, we're in. She is an easy woman. We're I could tell what her what she seems like. Do you have an Do you have a niece? You s I like eyes. More than that. So. What did you do for a living? Real exciting, Riku Ihara. Real. Real estate shit. No, real exciting is in the way, man. Move. Oh, what did we get? I do Riku Ohara. My name is Riku Ohara. What? Who? Oh, no, we fucked up. This is actually kind of tricky. Alright, let's do it again. We're never gonna go on a date because I can't resist the meme choices. Mush mush. Hey, welcome to the pimp hotline where I can be your simp. Tell her what I think about her. You, s you seem nice. Easy. Take it easy. Easy to talk to. You're really easy to talk to. That's the first thing I said to you. Oh, do you think so? 
What sports do you like? Basement. <laughs> Baseball's my thing. Oh, we haven't even gone to the baseball place yet. I'd love to see a game. Do you like playing with balls? Okay, let's be friends. Describe your body. Describe your body! What? My body type? I love freaking out, so my body's probably more on its own side, but don't get too rough with me, or I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? What a weird question. Whoa! I just lost. Back up to 99.8. What should I ask her about? Young baby ferrets. Hey, what do you think of young baby ferrets? Your best feature. What's your best feature? People say I have nice hair. Oh man, you work out and you have nice hair? Would you take good care of me? Sure I wouldn't. S sorry? To what? Someone would. Sorry too old. What? What do you mean? Sure I would. I'm really looking forward to it. How about something more personal? Do you walk? Do you work? Do you worry? Do you do 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 your work? Do you work? Fuck. Fuck. No, come on. Do you work? Shit! Do your work. No! Do you What? No! Oh shit! Are you a little nervous? Yeah, I am. I'm a nympho. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous. Shit! Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous, I guess. Me too. To tell the truth, me too. You sound super hot and a really nice boy. You could solve all my problems if I give you three choices. You seem nice. It moved! It just matrix dodged me! You seem nice. Yes, I saw that. Why, thank you. Good thing we went for the long. Alright, now we have to ask. What's your face like? Come to my house. My face? People say my face is small, my hair short, but guys seem to prefer it long. What do you think about short hair girls? I wonder how old she is. You sound like a yak. You sound young. You can tell from my voice? What's your body like? Minuscule, lean and muscular, mean and muscular. Okay, lean and mean. No, I'm mean. I'm mean. I'm a mean, but I'm a Yuzuka. Lean. I'm lean and muscular. Oh, are you? Describe. You sound really man. Oh, I'm the manliest man. I'll tell her what I think of her. Getting bored, getting old, getting annoying, getting along. We're really getting along well. I thought so too. Whoa, in my swimsuit. Okay, where are we going? Can we can we meet? Can we meet? You're not bait? I want a one night stand. Can we meet? You mean now? Yes, right now. Yeah, I want to meet you too. I'm getting nervous, but I'm really looking forward to it. Let's meet up. In what the fuck game? <sighs> this is why I hate video games, because they always appeal to the male fantasy. <laughs> Love.
we can meet in front of the theater. Sure, I'll see you there in my swimsuit. Uh. My name is Kiru, by the way. And I'm My Myri. Oh, this is going to be fun. What will you be wearing? I'm wearing blue today. My hair is pretty short. Don't forget, okay? Uh. Blue, cl blue clothes and short hair. Got it. Mirror might be here already. Mm -hmm. Is that blue? It's blue and like blue with white polka dots. Sorry, and blue clothes. She said. She said. Is that her? There's no one else who might be her. Better introduce myself. Are you Myri? Oh, hello there. You're late, you know. Sorry. What happened, Schnookums? Did you lose your way? Uh. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like I lost my way. My, my. You're a little silly billy. I think that's cute, though. Is that right? Oh, my. Don't tell me. Is she going to notice there's no chemistry here? You're already falling hard for me. I can tell. You look my way. Tough and buff stuff. Yeah. This is so wrong. It's okay, my stud biscuit. We've only just met and the night is still young. This is about to be a crisis. Shall we go, Kiri Kiri Kun? Huh? Where? Oh, I like it when you play coy. You know where, somewhere hot and sleazy. Wait, hold on. I think we should talk about this. We don't need to rush. Oh, you're so hot when you're flustered. Whoa, we just took damage. See you around, telephone boy. This is a bit mean. I feel like I lost something I'll never get back. Whoa, you went through with it? The rose bed of telephone club has its thorns. Okay, let's go save it, and I think we're done. I only wanted the stream to be like four hours today, and we went almost for five again. I actually entertain only going for three. I don't want to fight. Go away. Wait, how's our chicken doing? Chicken's in trouble. Ch chicken and tr chicken in crisis. Is it the chicken's fault? Oh my god! Chicken in trouble. Wait, no, no, we ha we have to stop. We have to stop. We have to stop. Ah. Oh. C. Davis Games has resubscribed for 21 months. Thank you, Chris. Hope you're doing well. I'm not sure if you're still here, but thank you so much for the for the resub. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Crazy Fist has resubscribed for 11 months with Hi Jojo. Surprised to see that you're investing in property, especially in this economy. Am I right? But yeah, now nah, love your work, man. No, this is boomer economy. This is this is this is real fantasy for uh, for this. That's the most fantastical thing about this. Uh, Spaghetti Boy has resubscribed for three months. Just stopping in to resubscribe before watching the VOD later. P.S. Did you know that this game was praised by Real Yuzuka for its realness? Apparently in the 1980s Japan, you couldn't walk two feet without being assaulted by goons, menacing men, or drunkards. Seems legit, man. 
Seems legit. Thank you, Spaghetti Boy. Hope you enjoy the VOD. Thank you, Headstens, for the new sub. Welcome, Headstens. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Bar Barrier Trio, for some bits. You know it's a good Joe stream when he interrupts himself for three seconds. Yep. Ralph Hogg says, uh, I think bowling is pretty cool. It's right up my alley. Nice. Uh, Magnute is a uh, recent for two months with hi joe i've been following you on youtube for a while now and i started watching your streams to see a deep and serious analysis of video games that was two months ago now i can only say fuck top bobby 11037 welcome to the cult welcome to the cult uh please in future remember to greet me with hey hey joe you've lost some of your uh sure pp because of that don't think i didn't notice rough cog says nugget had a job in at the alley but he was only only 10 pin what Oh, Tempet. Oh, fucking hell. Nugget is really, uh, is really a great, is really great at being a manager. His rates are really cheap. Bowling is a sport for people with time to spare. Nugget knows egonomics. Wow, Ralph Cogs went off. Uh, queer asses back, says Raphael. Diabolical Emu has reached out for seven months. Shout out to all the great artists in the stream. We're so blessed. So blessed. I can't say enough for real. Thank you, Diabolical Emu. KC Official says, No one is mad about the stream, Joe. Side stuff, main stuff to watch and play. Some people are mad. Some people are mad. One guy. One guy. Pepper Dude has for 26 months. What the heck did I just walk in, in on? Was it the phone thing? Yeah, the phone thing's really weird. Yeah. I mean, we're going to do it again. But the phone thing's really weird. Red Death says, So what happened? You are supposed to only go for the fast QTE or you get a bad ending. Really? Is it, or is it just, is it determined at the beginning? Is it based on your performance? I don't know how it works. I guess we'll find out later. S Snaps has recently subscribed for 11 months. One more until 12 months in the Kawaii Cave. Oh, nice one. Ay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, S Snaps. Thank you, Cronovecta. Cronovecta for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Hope I'm saying your name right. Cronovecta. Thank you, thank you. And last but not least, Tel 69, 100 bits, save Nugget. We'll save Nugget tomorrow. We'll save Nugget tomorrow. He'll be fine. We have to go to the, to the whiskey place first because we're in the same area. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Anyway, that's it. See you guys later. Um, stream tomorrow. Should be at the usual time tomorrow. So, thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the chicken stream. Did you guys get the Ayaya thing done today? You didn't? Wow, the Ayaya has uh, slowed down a little bit. You guys used to be able to do a daily challenge in one stream. Now you're not. What's going on? What is going on? Anyway, see you guys later. Have a good one.